Hello everyone, welcome to a new stream. Today we are going to to, uh, to play Embosaur. Yeah, I was thinking today we are going to play Embosaur because yesterday, as you probably know, we tried to play, but I didn't have so much luck because I, when I joined the game, I was able to play only three minutes. Three minutes! And yeah, obviously I was uploading the video from yesterday, from the stream of yesterday, but only three minutes! playing the game only this but at least i was able to try something but today i wanted to play earlier yeah you probably know uh, are thinking what the hell is doing at this time playing embosaur or anything else but yeah i needed to play earlier because there are only six hours left well maybe a little less yeah five hours and 46 minutes until the game it's finally let's say the the alpha play test session season whatever <laughs> it's ended so we have less than six hours less than six to play guys so you know we will have only 30 minutes to play after the 30 minutes we need if we want obviously it's optional we can fill out a, a survey in order to help and give some feedback to the team but after this we can join again the queue and then try to play again so something that i saw because i am already, already wa uh, waiting in the queue i wanted to save some time something that i saw is that today there are not so many people waiting in the queue at least at this time uh when i joined there were like 200 201 players in the queue and yesterday for example there were like 500 and 20 or something like that so today there are less players let's say but i don't know i mean it's taking some some less time i mean i don't know as you can see guys let's jump into the game scene as you can see there i'm in the position 57 right now and i spend like let's say 15 minutes or so so it's relatively quick today so maybe, maybe I'm able to play, one, I don't know, in Eng you know, guys, I will play first in English. I will play as many times as I can before I go to dinner. And later, if I still have free time, I will play in Spanish. So, but obviously I want to play as much as I can in English. So I will probably play two or three rounds if it's possible. I mean, maybe at this time there are only 200 players, but later we will see more people waiting in the queue so we will see guys but anyway something that i will have also as Ooh. okay let me see yeah something that i did yesterday is have the warm-up in another tab so i can take it because something that we saw yesterday is that the map inside the game it's rotated it's not let's say it's not oriented in this in this way so it's a little rotated and also from my point of view here it's useful because you have the names of all the npcs i don't know if all the npcs will provide a quest to you but just in case that's how it works we have all the npcs here in the wall map so we can easily check the map and go wherever we need also something is else that i realized is that guys i have a ultra wide display ultra wide screen and the problem is that i have the feeling well it's not the feeling it's it's a fact that my screen it's larger so i have less uh let's say proportion to uh, to, to check the, the the game so i see things <laughs> like in a zooming aspect so i don't know if it's possible to zoom out uh with the with the mouse i will try it later with the wheel i mean of the mouse but I, the problem is that I don't had too much time yesterday to test things. So this will I only tested the skills, the four skills that I got at the beginning. And also I got one quest, I opened the map and then the server disconnected. So I hope that this is not the case today. I still have time, so at least I will be able to play some rounds. So position 51. We are so close, guys. We are so close. So as you can listen, there is a jazz music in the background, but I am, I'm also playing some music in Spotify, so maybe it's a little mess. Let me, let me just mute this, like that, yep. 
Um, um, yeah, we are so close. Wow, now it, it goes so fast. So, yeah, it, it's a good sign. It's a good sign. So, guys, something interesting as well. Let me see if I can quickly share. Don't forget to participate in the giveaway of Ember War. Don't forget because they are giving away Ember War here. Because um, they are giving away some lands, land plots. They are regular or standard. I guess the name is irregular for the lowers, lowest one. But yeah, they are giving away this and it's just by sharing with a special, a specific tag. I guess it's this one, Alpha Playtest. Let me tag or tweet about this. Let me see. Okay, I still have time to share this. Yeah, this... Okay, you need to use Alpha Playtest at least, but you should also add the Play Amber Sword just in case. But yeah, Alpha Playtest is the tag that you need. And you can win one land plot. That's so great. And there are five of the best missions. Uh, let me check if this... Yeah, there will be five land plots for five winners. One land plot for each one. And you need to add these two hashtags here in a tweet on Twitter. And it's available until 21 of April. So guys, don't forget to do this. I mean, one land plot, it's part of the economy of Embersor. And you will be participating in a passive way. I mean, from all the economy around your land and also in the whole uh, Emerson ecosystem, you will be getting some percentage, some of this, of the fees and everything happening there in the game. So that's very interesting. One day I will need to, okay, let's close this and just wait patiently. But one day I will need to, to also make a review of the game because I'm always uh, sharing gameplay reviews about new versions and releases of games, but I never did yet a game review about economy, ecosystem and things like that, and probably will be interesting. I mean, the problem is that I'm always playing alpha versions or beta versions, so yeah, everything that I, I can share most of the time, it's about theory and things like that, but yeah, could be interesting. So guys, we are so close, 30 positions, and it's increasing the number. I don't know why it's increasing from 31 to 34, 33, oh my goodness. We are almost there, 33. So let's see if we can get in, oh, 28, 26. Okay, sometimes I you can see that the positions increase, other times obviously they decrease, but yeah, I don't know. when. The positions incre are increased. You can see that later they decrease quickly. So let's see, guys, if we are lucky. So I want to check also on the score before we start playing that everything is aligned. There we go. Because you know, guys, that I'm building a, a Discord bot and this bot is already sharing notifications in Discord in my personal Discord server and also the one from Metabrands. It's sharing out new videos on my YouTube channel, but also I need to implement a feature to also share uh, my streams there. I already saw how to do this. It's so easy to work with the Twitch API, but I need to work on this. Obviously, <laughs> today I, and yesterday I'm playing Embosaur and tomorrow I will need to make the gameplay reviews to upload them to my YouTube channel, but yep. Whenever I have time, probably past tomorrow, I will work on the on the Discord bot again. So excited about this. It's always great to learn new things. So we are so close. Oh, and I also guys, I will also use this Discord bot to also share all the bots that I have on Twitter sharing about uh, sales in marketplaces and so on from many NFT collections. I will also implement uh, the daily report for for different collections with this Discord bot and many other things. So yeah, I will keep exploring new features and expanding what these Discord bots are doing. Because at some point, at some point, this is not official, but maybe at some point I could use this bot, this Discord bot, 
to, uh, to invite it to other communities, to other Discord servers, and share about NFT collections there. So if that's the case, will be amazing. Oh my goodness, 24, yeah. We go, and now it's 25. It's increasing all the time. Come on. Don't tell me that there are people with priority in the queue. Wait, 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 wait. 26? We were almost there. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see. 23 again. Let's see if we can get close and below of 20. Hey guys, I'm taking the, the stream in my other screen just in case there's something wrong with my microphone. Yeah, it's working fine. You know, double checking before we start playing because once I start playing, I won't have time to do anything else. Only 30 minutes to play Amber Swarm. So let's see. And less than 20. Oh, finally. Yeah. I would yesterday for example it was about a little more than one hour to to complete the queue of one uh, five five hundred uh, positions in the queue yeah five hundred twenty something like that it was a little more than one hour and one hour and maybe five minutes something like that and today I have spent more or less twenty five minutes because I started almost at six o'clock and almost there guys so yeah it's half of a time today less people less players so that's that's great it's great for us to, to play the game obviously but the more people the more players more feedback for amber sword so we are almost there i will enable the the audio once we start and also the team was sharing on discord that there were yesterday a little more than 500 players playing at the same time, so that was impressive. Yeah, I hope that they they are getting the feedback and all the information that they were looking for in order to improve the game. It will be so so nice. And at the end, that's the the purpose of this kind of playtest. Obviously, um, it's great to to have. A way to test and, and see how the game has been progressing in the last month or the last year and also it's useful for them to keep improving finding uh, network issues because obviously they were doing private uh, play tests I mean with uh, small groups of testers we saw this in other videos oh guys we are so close we are so close eight so I'm going to unmute the audio. C8. Ah, I'm the option preparer. I don't want to, to play this, the music, the jazz music. Because later when I'm editing the video, it's a little annoying there. When because I'm for Ember Sword yesterday I edited the video and uploaded it uh, to my YouTube channel. Uh I'm placing some background music in the video because there is nothing else playing in, in Ember Sword, only some sound effects and that's all. But there is no music yet. So yeah, I was using my own music that I bought some time ago. And seven. Okay guys, we are so close. Four. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. Number two. Number two. I'm going to unmute. Guys, we are so close. Oh, come on. It will, oh. <laughs> okay, I unmute the music, but four. Let's see. Three. There should be an option to, um, to remove the sound. I mean, 
I don't want to, to listen to just music while I'm waiting. I prefer this epic music. I mean, it doesn't make any kind of sense to, to have jazz music here, in my opinion. I will prepare something more epic. Okay, still four. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's, um, let's mute again this and increasing five. Okay. Do, do, do. And now six. What the hell is happening? Hey guys, this is now. We are going there. Three. Okay. Let's unmute the game. Not yet. Let's wait. Five. There's something so weird here with the queue. I mean, why it's increasing and decreasing all the time? Yeah, what I'm expecting from a queue, it's all the time decreasing. I mean... But anyway... I guess that the queue is part of the alpha test as well. Mm. So... Let's unmute. Because time two... We are now so, so close. We are so close. Let's see if the position doesn't increase again. Yeah, at the end I will be singing the, the jazz song as well. E position 2. Got this. Three. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a never ending story. Come on. Q. One. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. There we go. And we spawn where yesterday. I mean, when the server was disconnected, we were exactly here. And also, we accepted this quest from Leo. Ah, it was Leo, yeah. So, guys, let's kill some cloud bots. Just going to the forest, as we say yesterday. And we can see some players, yeah, collecting some wood. But we want to kill the cloud bots. So, oh, this is, what is this? We can collect this? No. You're not allowed to interact with item. Okay, ah, these are cloud bots. Look at this. Yeah, Dr. Ban, he was right. Oh, look at this. So let's start with some skills. I'm not able to... Oh. What the... For some reason, I'm not able to... Use my skills. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. What the... I don't know why, but I'm not able to use my skills. So, one moment, guys. I don't know if this is part of the game or it's just my configuration of the mouse. So, let me check. It's me? No, should should work. I don't know why. Okay, guys. I don't know why it's not... Ah, because I'm using the chat. Oh. Now. Okay. So... I was using the chat. So let's. Oh, someone died there. Cryptos. Okay, let's kill these cloud bots here. Oh, even. Oh, I was stunning the, the cloud bot. Okay, cool, cool. Let's use the whirlwind. Let's use it. And boom. So we got iron ore and cop copper ore. Great. So we can see items drop by other. Oh. Weapon sword level up. I mean, I was participating with this enemy, killing it. Great. So I can collect. Probably these items are part of the of the bounty. But you can attack with the left button of the mouse. Crypto is still dead there. Anyway, so we need to kill eight. 
eight cloud bots. I don't know how many did I already kill. Oh, so number one, it's useful because you are stunning the enemies. And let's collect more copper ore in order to craft later. Probably now. You can see a red uh, shape around the item. I'm not able to, to collect it. There we go. And let's see if I can use... Oh, what? Oh, it's so powerful, this one. And weapon sword level up. So, it says weapon level, but I would say it's just my, my level. Uh, this. <sighs> careful, careful. Oh my goodness, I was breathing. I was checking my the bottom of the, of the screen. And boom. One will win. It's enough to kill these robots. That's so cool. Let's see number four, what it does. Oh, it's sprinting and attacking at the same time. Nice. So you can see that now I'm dealing more damage now that I'm level 3. Great. So I don't see any progress for the quest here. Oh, let's help player. Well, this player. Let's help him. And oh, you can see that I got the aggro. So there is aggro also implemented in this game right now. That's cool. Oh, so nice. Oh, let's let's kill that one. Also, we started. Let's see. Ah, this attack is so slow. But anyway. And wow. I don't know if I was performing two skills at the same time. Let, let's go. No, I, now I'm really powerful now that I'm level three. Let's go level four. So, guys, I don't know how many Clawbots did I kill, but let's go and see if we complete the quest, at least. Let's talk... Well, let's go back to talk with Leo. Town! So, yeah, this is a town. Oh, I see the city. But, yeah, a town. So, town is purple, and city is red, probably. So, yeah, we completed the quest. You can see that the question mark is yellow now, instead of grey. So, let's click Leo with the left button of the mouse and we kill eight cloud bots and we can get the reward zero gold but 400 experience and this will let us advance to level five so let's collect the rewards and boom level five already and the next quest is going to give us some gold that's nice and a little less of experience so we need to bring 25 bird Birch wood and 15 copper ore to Chris Fosberg. Okay, Chris is another NPC, so guys, we can check here in the map. Foster? Foster? It's Foster? Fosberg. Okay, it's not this one. Chris. Oh, Chris, look at this. We are here with Leo and we need to go through this road to Chris, who is here. So. They are asking, well, Leo is asking about bring 25 bridge wood and 15 copper ore. So let's, okay, let's start, first of all, because otherwise you don't start the quest. <laughs> Obvious. I have a quest for you. Okay, we already have one. Um. oh, something weird happened. Okay, the layer of the ground looks a little weird. We can jump. Don't forget to jump if it's needed. So, let's go and let's try to get some wood. Okay, not like this. Oh, here, birch. So we can start putting the tree. Let's go. And lumberjack level up. So we already got seven birch. Great. You don't need to collect it. It's automatically done. Wow, nice. Nice, so nice. I mean, this alpha playtest looks so good, guys. Seriously. And we are getting also experience to, for the... For the... For the skill of cutting wood or something like that. So, that's, that's great. And Lumberjack level. Let's cut this one as well. And let's see how can I open the inventory. Probably with E. I mean, this was already implemented in the past. Oh... Anyway, let's use the will win and also this. Aha! Let's go. Uh, I don't know. 
E, okay, with E you can open the inventory. I mean, it's so basic, like many other games. And here, oh, we can also collect the, well, mine the, the ore here in the copper vein. So we can do it in the meantime that we are using the inventory. Uh, yeah. So we already have the copper ore and now the birch, it was uh, 25. So we have more than enough. So let's talk with, who was Chris? We need to talk with Chris. Let's check the map. Okay, so we need to get into... Oh, nice! Once you complete the quest, you can see the yellow question mark. I mean, that's something that I was missing. Because I had no time, enough time to check. You can see the red arrows, probably they are enemies. Ooh, a new follower. Let me check who is... Carlos Eduardo Rox. Thank you for the follow. Oh, gracias por el, por el seguimiento. Por seguirme, vamos. <laughs> Thank you so much, Eduardo. And because I think that you're Spanish. So, uh, what I was saying, yeah, the red arrows are probably enemies, I guess. Let's see, for example, here. Uh, we, Oh, yeah, they are enemies. Absolutely. So, let's use the whirlwind. Boom. And I want to use this one, the number three. And I'm not able to do so. Let's do... Oh. Okay, anyway. Um, hey bro, what do you think? Is the game better than the last playtest? Absolutely, Carlos. Absolutely. I mean, I was playing one year ago to the pre-alpha playtest. One year ago in April of 2022. And I can tell you, everything is running smoothly. Everything. I mean, compared to the pre-alpha, it's working so good. And also, uh, well, you can see that there is a quest system. This was not implemented in the previous pre-alpha playtest. This is something new. Also, we can finally fight with enemies. That's amazing. I mean, obviously they need to improve this, but this is an alpha playtest. So, the first public alpha. So, yeah, they need to improve many things, but it's working so nice. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> wow. Wow, guys. This is amazing. So, yeah, Carlos, I honestly think that they made a great progress in this. And I'm so, so excited. And honestly, having only two days to play, that's a little sad. Because I would love to have more days to, to play this game. At least one week to play every day, complete everything and have enough time to explore the whole world map. Because I don't know if we will have enough time, guys. Because you know that here you have the whole world map, okay? And yeah, probably we will finish the quest from around the capital, but we still have, for example, the mountains. I mean, I would love to, to check the mountains, how, how this looks like. But anyway, oops, what did I do? Oops. Oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> Something weird happened. Anyway, uh, let me see how can I go back to this. Okay, here is the map. Okay, I'm not going to touch anything else. So let's continue, guys. So I hope that this answered your question, Eduardo, about why do I think about the little minute, the, the few minutes that I was able to play the game. I mean, yesterday I was only to, able to play three minutes and today I just started, let's say, 10 minutes or something like that, Nicole. So let's go to the main route because we want to talk with Chris and complete the quest. Remember, guys, we don't have too much time. They should have released this one on the weekend. I have a gold badge, but I can play. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean, man. I also have a gold badge, by the way, <laughs> and I was playing the pre-alpha. But yeah, I, I had to work the whole day in my day job. So I, like you, I didn't have too much time. And I just connected 30 minutes ago when I, st I stopped uh, working. So, like you, probably, I didn't have too much time, so... Oops! Wait, 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 Chris is there. So, let's see if we can jump. We can jump and nothing else. So, let's see how we can go there. But, yeah, I I, I completely understand what you mean, Eduardo, about this. So, yeah. But, anyway, at least we were able to play something. And, in your case, Carlos, you can see how I'm playing or any other streamer. So, that's that's something great. At least yeah man i i cannot wait for the public release i don't know when this is going to happen but it will be so exciting and guys we can complete the quest 
we are going to deliver all what Leo was asking to Chris and we are going to collect 50 gold coins and some experience. So let's check the next quest, craft the heal sensor. Craft the heal sensor and return to Chris Fosberger. Okay, so we need to craft something and craft a heal sensor. So oh, let's see the description. Okay, we don't have any resources here in the description to, to know what do we need to do. Okay, so we need to craft the sensor, whatever. And how can we do this? Oh, let's talk with Randy. Okay, this is NPC. Randy, the resource head. No, rat, not head, rat. <laughs> let's click it. And inventory. Okay, we can move this. Well, we can track this window here. And Carlos, I'm from the office watching <laughs> but the real decision will be sell the tokens when released or hold it and play the game i'm at the office i mean yeah yeah i know i know what you mean man oh yeah i mean today i was working from home so i had more time to to quickly start the stream and play the game but yeah i, I know what you mean man so anyway enjoy while you're waiting <laughs> and if, if you have any question feel free to ask me Obviously, I will try to take it, but yeah, all the tokens, I don't, I don't have any idea when they are going to release them, but this is up to you, man. Uh, I mean, I will wait a little more to see the tokens, how you can use them, and how useful they, they will be. Obviously, before, uh, I don't know, that's my personal decision, obviously, not financial advice, but yeah, I will wait a little, but obviously, it depends on how things go, but I'm so, so, so happy with this version of this alpha version and yeah i don't know i'm, I'm excited i'm excited about ambassador and how they did this time so i don't know what do we need to do ah weapon i'm i'm bill and bill whatever so we need to craft something here um greater heal sensor we need the ah no heal sensor we need this so we can craft it it's uh 25 uh birches yeah and 15 copper ores so that's what they were asking about so let's craft it and weapon smith level six so just by crafting one heal sensor we are level six incredible so maybe they will need to adjust how these uh, levels works for for example for the crafting skill because it's a little weird that just crafting one tier one item you get level six but anyway this is an alpha so an alpha version so guys this can happen so we crafted something great we learned how this works i mean we already saw this in the pre-alpha last year and it keeps working in the same way but it's great to learn here in the public alpha how it works so nothing else in the chat Great, so we can continue, guys. Collect the rewards. Only 50 gold coins. I think that it's a gold coin. Yeah, it's gold. gold coins. So, we for the next quest, we need to kill Pooh. Pooh? Pooh? Slay Pooh to the northwest and then return to Chris Forberg. Osberg. No, Forberg. Osberg. So, uh, northeast. Okay, so let's go there and we will get. Two items and some experience. Ooh, 1000. That's amazing. So let's go and start the quest and northeast. So, again, guys, let's check the map. And if we need to go to the northeast, uh, probably will be this zone, I guess. Something like that. So, I mean, you know that the map it's rotated, so it's a little more complicated to. To check things, as you can see, the map is rotated a little to the right side. So, uh, well, let's try to go over this zone and we will see how this pool enemy mob looks like. So, let's go there and let's see what can we kill there. Well, many players are coming from the right. Side. Oh, this is the pool. Oh, let's go. So, let's use our skills. Let's jump. Boom! Oh, we were. It's really powerful, but not so much. Okay, we kill one pool. So did we call? Ah, we complete the quest. Great! Wow, that was so beautiful. This this creature, so beautiful. I mean, something that the Ember Sword team 
the design team from Ember Sword, I mean, they have always done it's put a lot of uh, love to the to the designs and how the characters, NPCs, enemies, buildings, the the backgrounds, everything how it looks like. It's so beautiful. Serious. Oh, the steel. I didn't collect it. So I was crafting here in the weapon anvil, and it was dropped to the ground, and I didn't collect it. So important, guys. When you craft something, check the ground because probably there will be there the, the item. Don't do it like me. Don't forget to to collect it. Anyway, as I was saying, the the team of Ember Sword, the design team, they put a lot of love there, and the, well, the artistic designers. I mean, and you can see that everything looks fantastic. I mean. I don't know. I'm just in love with the designs of this game, honestly. So let's just collect the rewards and complete the quest. Another one, Weapon Sword level up. Yeah, we... Oh, we are level 10. But wait. We are sword level 7, but also our character is level 10. So it's not really the same. At the beginning, you are leveling up at the same time, the sword level, and also your character level. But now it's a little it's not going in the same way i mean we have different levels so let's see if we can check this later here we have a uh, rashi must know a friend in need so they are different quests guys you can see we have four quests available i sense a new sensor well downrange excursion a friend in need and rashi must know so we have a lot of quests so i don't know if i can select different ones yeah if you select them you can see the details so rashi must know deliver the letter of recommendations oh that's one of the items that we got from the last quest and we will get a little of experience probably rashi is going to give us more quests later so let's start it oh if you accept one quest you jump into the next one so speak to tom winkler in a village southwest of king's road okay we need to Star, I mean, for example, I have no idea about Rashi. Well, Rashi was in the capital. He was he. Well, she was in the capital. Oh, she is still is there. So, so we will go to the capital, but also southwest. Southwest. We need to go King's Road. King's Road probably is this. I guess it's the main road. King's Road. I guess. I don't know. Um southwest okay so we need to continue the king's road until this point i guess and we will find tom oh wait 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 tom it's it's just there come on <laughs> i'm sleepy so we need to go here to talk with tom it's just going to the south i don't know why they say southwest it's south east anyway uh let's go there Okay, let's accept it. Uh, again, we need to talk with another NPC. Another one, meet Martin Crooks. Yeah, Rashi is here, also in the capital, as we saw yesterday. Which is the other NPC? Martin Crooks. Martin, Martin, Martin. Where is Martin? Oh, Martin. Wow, in the grasslands. He or she? He. I guess it's he. Him. He's in, the, in another uh, city. Well, another town, sorry, another town is really far away. So, yeah, let's go there. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. This is a town. This is a town where Leo was. So this is probably a, a city, I guess. Okay, so let's go there, guys. Marcin, let's accept this. To the south, okay. And collect 20 birds, 10 maples, and... 12 iron ores and then return to Chris. So let's complete this quest first quickly. It's similar to the first one that we got. And then we will go to. Oh, you can see. Oh, nice. You can see the progress of the quest if you talk with the NPC. Obviously, uh, as we saw, uh, as I said, sorry. Uh, we don't have yet any kind of uh, element in the UI to check the progress of the quest. Okay. Oh, look at this. I saw a weird icon or symbol there uh, from one player. It was like a huge shield, uh, just a spinning in his head. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, there is no progress, any way to check here in the UI. Uh, a typical thing is uh, the right side. Like for example, um, we can see in Sandbox, we can see also in Big Time and many other games like World of Warcraft and whatever. So 
there is no way to check the progress of the quest or maybe i'm missing something but this will be great i mean it's something that we can at least take it here with the npc but it will be much better if we can take the quest progress here for example so let's complete this quest we need a little more of wood mm, we need 10 maple uh, maple woods as well oh maple wood okay i thought that this will be leaves but it's wood and also iron ore okay let's go guys it's so easy this quest let's do this probably this will be a maple yeah let's go oh, rec oh we need a <laughs> level five so maybe it's not so easy to complete this quest so we need to level up and look at this there is a kind of rune here okay it's nothing so let's try to cut the birches let's see where we can find a birch Oh, Chromit Bane, probably I'm not able to mine this. Level 10. So let's jump. And let's find some birches. Okay, I'm not able to go through this way. Okay, I'm... Okay, like this. Perfect. And here we have one birch. So let's cut this. And the, the skills, I guess, it's with the K key. No, I'm wrong. C? Okay, no, C, it's character. And here we can check the stats, also the items. And nothing else. Do we have... What do we have? Uh, this is the heal sensor. Okay. While I keep... Can I place this anywhere? No. So, guys, I cannot place it. Anyway. Um, how can I open the skills? S? No. No, no. Okay, this is H for information. Oh, like it. Let's check this. And um, inventory. Oh, it's O. Character C and nothing else. So O, we can open the skills. We are right now uh, level 3 of Lumberjack. And for mining, we are level 1. Still there. So let's try to level up a little more these skills. Oh, careful because there is an enemy who wants to fight against us. Oh, this one is really powerful. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so let's collect the... Ah! Oh this one bore skin and beer meat okay great so we are not able to go up to this tower but anyway let's level up the we need to be careful with the enemies because they move so fast lumberjack level four and we need to be level five so let's keep doing we need to be careful well there are not some oh this player you can see baron baron player Baron, why don't I don't have a title? I mean, I should be also. I mean, I have uh, one settlement and also some regular land plots, so I should have one title at least. Anyway, and let's keep leveling up and be careful with the enemies. Almost there. Ooh, this player was almost killed. So, uh, not yet. One, a little more. Let's help him. Boom. <laughs> wow. Oh, careful, careful. Oh, I'm almost dead. Almost dead. There we go. Level eight. Wow, I'm still suffering a little. <laughs> I'm still suffering. Oh my goodness. So, uh, let's go there. Level five. We can still uh, collecting maple wood. So, let's go here. There we go. Careful with this mob. Let's go. We needed uh, 10. 10 of wood. Let's mine a little more of copper ore. And maple wood, maple wood. Miner level 2. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go. Boom. Let the spin, let the spin, let the spin. Boom. I mean, it's working really nice. Really nice. I mean... Obviously, will be better if we could, for example, we can, we cannot move with the with the keyboard. That will be great. You know the typical um, A, uh, double B, uh, S, D keys. But anyway, at least it's it's something. But yeah, I prefer to move like this instead of all the time using my my mouse because I have the feeling that I am wasting a little of time. You must be on the ground to interact. Oh, because I was on top of the of this stone and I wasn't able to mine. Ah! 
<laughs> wow, 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 wow. That's amazing. I I have to say that obvious oh, you can do that while performing an ability. Okay. A little weird. Obvious, as I said, this is an alpha version, so many things like this can happen perfectly. So minor level three. Um let's collect more maple wood. As I told you, I prefer to use the the keys from the keyword to, to move my my avatar and then use the mouse to just perform the the, the, sk uh, the skills and attack and whatever because uh if i'm using all the time the mouse it's a little difficult to combine when you are moving your avatar and also attacking so everything done with the same hand at least from my my personal opinion it looks weird and a little difficult but anyway that's the kind of feedback that we can provide in the survey when we finish our 30 minutes we can provide this feedback and i will do it and i guess that we are close to finish our 30 minutes i guess let's see we complete everything not yet oh here oh guys we can see an exclamation mark here that's interesting and we can move around the map another exclamation map uh, exclamation mark here in the map here is Rashi, Rashi was the name? Yeah, I think so. I don't remember what is this. Well, I don't know. Anyway, probably they are M simply NPCs. I guess that they are NPCs with no quest yet. Here we have, oh, yeah. This is the other NPC here in the mountains. Uh, Tori? I I'm not able to read it. Anyway. Let's go and see what we are missing from this quest. Oh, settlement. Oh, I'm so excited, guys, because this the settlement looks so beautiful. I have one settlement, land plot. And, I mean, you can place here... I don't remember all the things that you can place. Oh, this one has a different weapon. Ooh. You can place one small shop. You can also place a small guild house. And I don't rem don't remember what else you can place here in your in a settlement, but it's still good enough. It's like a little fortress, and looks so so nice. So let's see if we can craft some. Well, ah, no, <laughs> I was going to craft something. So here is the survey. As I told you guys, I'm going to join the queue again. So let's see if, in the meanwhile, let me see if I can. Uh, for example, um, open another tab, and while we are waiting, let's see if I can join the, the queue. Oh, 200. So, guys, uh, this will be more or less 30 minutes. We will need to wait 30 minutes, okay? More or less. So, if you want to go and take a drink, whatever, just take a walk, you will need to wait 30 minutes like me. So, in the meanwhile, what I'm going to do is fill this survey and provide some feedback because this is something very important guys if you are playing the game and you want to help the team of ms4 and help the game and the community it's great to provide some feedback honest and transparent feedback so would you recommend ms4 to a friend absolutely i mean at this point the game looks so nice and it's just an alpha how would you rate your overall experience terrible experience great experience hmm I would say, I don't know what do you think, guys, but for me, we need to think that this is an alpha, but I don't know if they are asking based on it's an alpha or simply as the game itself. So let me say eight. I mean, it's a very positive opinion, but it still could be even better because we were we saw that we there were some things missing, like the quest progress, some lag issues. Honestly, I will I will love to see the game. It's nice to have the game in the browser, working and running in a browser, but it will be amazing if we can see a, a standalone application in the future, a desktop application for performance and also to avoid things like switching from another tab and then returning and having a lot of lag and things like that. Why? Oh, man, I, I could have answered this. Okay, if you want to say anything in the chat, guys, feel free to do it. I will be filling this survey in the meanwhile. But anyway. Um... Oh, 
this ward doesn't exist. So nice. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's my opinion. Oops. Okay, we maximum eight third three hundred characters. Will you best describe yourself? Uh, how you best describe yourself? First choice, competitor. I like to challenge others. I value status and power. Socializer, explorer, achiever. I like interacting with the game. I like to immerse myself in the game. Hmm. What I'm. I think that I probably yeah I I'm I guess it, I'm achiever first and secondly I guess that I'm an explorer yeah will be nice to have more options to, to place them but yeah I think I love completing things and crafting and completing quests and getting for example in World of Warcraft I was very obsessed with uh, collecting all the, the badges and achievements there, you know, trying to get the, the rarest ones. So yeah, I'm that's why I, I think that I'm more an achiever because I was enjoying so much. Uh, I don't know, it was so, so nice and very addicting getting those achievements. So I hope that we can see something like this in Ember Sword as well. So which platforms do you play on PC? Basically PC. I'm always working in a Mac coding, but when I need to play in a stream, I prefer to do it in my PC. Well, I also play mobile, but I mean from a more serious way, I use my PC. But yeah, on mobile, I can also casually play. So that's that's good. Yeah, just in case they want to release a, or adapt the Ember Sword game to mobile. I will answer this. So, ooh, let's go. That's a great thing. If you want to play one more time, it's great to spend time in the survey, and then when we finish, we can continue playing a second run. So that's 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 a good idea. What games are you playing playing right now? Let's say big time. Big time. It's my first choice, and also sandbox. And what else? I mean, not necessarily needs need to be uh, only Web3 games. For example, I'm playing Big Time, Sandbox, Outer Ring. I mean, for example, Big Time is an alpha version. Well, it's a pre alpha, officially, I guess. There, I mean, we didn't jump into the beta version yet. The Sandbox, it's also uh, an alpha. Yeah, and Outer Ring, it's a very, very pre alpha version yet. And what else? Um. I'm playing in a PC with these three games, but also in a mobile I'm playing LOL Wild Rift. So let me place this. Wild Rift. There we go. Yeah, when I have time, I'm playing also Wild Rift. Uh, it, it's not all about Web3 games. So sometimes there are great games in the from the traditional world. How do you normally hear about new games? Twitter. At this point, Twitter and friends. Uh, those are my main channels. Well, Discord as well, yeah. Discord. Let's say Discord because probably they prefer to to know about what are the the channels that you follow. So, have you ever made an in-game purchase? Oh yeah, absolutely. What kind of purchase did you make? Uh, Cosmetics, well, this is absolutely... I mean, this is why I believe so much in big time. Cosmetics are so important. If you enjoy and believe in the game, cosmetics are very important. Also to customize your avatar and so on. 
content features battle pass i'm not a friend of battle passes to be honest i prefer to buy things like cosmetics and things like that but battle passes it's a way to to drop your money in a in a poor way in my opinion obviously it's a way to pay developers and and creators about what they are doing but could be in a different way lives turns oh no no way i'm not going to pay to have lives and write in require okay no mainly in-game currency and cosmetics this is the main thing that i've been paying probably the most typical thing is cosmetics obviously i have paid some battle passes like for example in assassin's creed uh uh well uh valhalla and also for odyssey i was buy buying the the dlcs there so probably it's what well yeah features battle pass extra content whatever so uh, yeah i i pay. let's select this i mean i don't want this but yeah i did it so let's do it submit oh and that's all we value our community feedback oh this is a cloud bot by the way this is a cloud bot <laughs> That's what we were trying to kill at the very beginning, the first quest from Leo. So, oh, look at this, guys. We are in again. We are in again? So fast? Really? Connecting to a server. And nothing is happening. I have to say that this was so fast. Uh, through I mean this should be instantly done but for some reason isn't working so maybe it's because I was in a different tab and when it was my turn it simply skip skip it so if that's true we'll be so sad let's see I mean if I refresh the website I'm going to go to join the queue again so that's dangerous but I don't know what else I can do. So... Yep. Let me see if I can open Inspect Parliament. Still fail. Hmm. I have the feeling that I will need to refresh the website. Yeah, because okay let's let's refresh and join the queue again so we will need to wait a little more let's do it oh position in the queue four Ooh. is this true oh, oh oh let's go let's go guys so the the map it's loading we are not able to move yet everything is frozen um okay oh page un unresponsive we can wait let's see if something else is happening no okay guys i will need to refresh the website again because i don't know what's happening but it's frozen, the game is frozen, so let's refresh just in case. Exit page, okay, and now let's refresh it. And we will join the queue. Oh, ten, only 10 positions? That's amazing, I mean, <laughs> I was a little scared about being in the 200 position bed at the end of the queue, I mean, but that's great. Maybe that means that there are not so many people playing right now. Great. So this will be fast. Let's prepare everything. Also make sure that the audio is enabled. Yep. So, okay guys. We are going to continue with the quest that we were trying to complete. And what I was doing, it was trying to craft something. Because we don't have any kind of armor yet. We don't have anything. So, for example, you saw those... Um, those animals, I don't know the, the word in English, but those animals, they were attacking us, 
and they were so so powerful compared with us oh you can see here player one three four he has an armor a great sword and a shell better than us so let's see if we can craft something training sword and shield so let's let's craft this let's craft it at least we can have something to to fight with and what about this pistol a pistol okay uh combat stick oh i want the uh, an armor okay so here we can only craft weapons okay tier two what do we need okay not yet we need probably one more level hmm what about this why oh there is a secret here now uh, we need more what is this iron ore so we could try to even republic your set so first of all let's try to use what we were crafting now let's open see oh wait okay guys the game is frozen again yeah the game is frozen again well at least we were able ah but it's the same equipment that i had before look at this it's the same so maybe i was a little stupid <laughs> crafting this but anyway let's see guys uh i will need to refresh again the website so many issues i'm having now so i will i will fill again the survey <laughs> okay let's just refresh oh 70 this time no okay guys we need to wait longer ah i'm going to check discord to see if many well there are more players like me who are experiencing issues like those ones let me see let's see seems like i'm stuck at connecting to server is that normal yeah refresh trust me okay wow ah. okay so yeah looks like i'm not the only one experiencing this kind of issues oh look at this the the yellow <laughs> progress bar is at the right side instead of the left side that's a little weird i mean that's a little weird i don't know what's happening today but uh, let's see if we can do something i mean i would love to craft uh at least one armor and better weapon and, and shield let's see Wow, we will need to wait longer, definitively. So let's check. Uh, we say that we need to go to Marcin. Well, first of all, finish this quest about collecting all these items. Also visit Marcy. Well, we could go to Rashi first because uh, it will be so, so, so nice to meet her after seeing this npc in this core announcing many news and things like that will be so exciting to to meet her there and guys it's working so weird this time okay now it's starting from the left side well at least it's more or less progressing more or less so now it's at the right side okay guys <laughs> Ah, this time it's so weird. Yeah, and I don't know if I should refresh again the, the website. Do, 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 do. I mean, I'm all the time stuck in 70. 70 above, 70 below, but I'm always there. 68, let's see. 
56. Wow. This is so weird. Okay, guys, I'm going to refresh and probably I will jump into 100, something like that. Oh, 71. Okay. Okay, now the progress bar is at the left side. Oh, man. I have to say that waiting... Okay, I will provide more feedback about this, but waiting, it's so annoying. I mean... I don't know why they are doing this, probably because of capacity in their servers or in order... I don't know. They are taking all the activity from players in the game and they need to, to have a small number, small number of 1, 200 players at the same time. I don't know what exactly, but it's so annoying that we need to wait. Honestly. But anyway, let's let's see. Yeah, this is going to take us. In theory, it should be 15, 15 minutes or something like that. Let's see. Okay, now it's... Oh, I was going to say it's progressing nicely, but... Then we went back some positions. And... I don't know what else I could take now. So guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the chat. Uh, we have been able to play a little this time. That was nice. Now, we are just waiting, waiting for our turn. Oh, some... Yeah, there are more uh, players having issues similar to the ones that I'm having, for example, uh, being with the green bar, green status bar, and so close to connect. Yeah. Okay, so... Okay guys, so it looks like more people are... Six people now? Yeah. Okay, so one user, Raptor, he has six players in the queue. But I have 16. It's so weird how this queue works, honestly, guys. It's so weird. Something wants that I can play the alpha. <laughs> oh, poor man. Poor guy. Has anyone that got stuck on that screen, waited it out and got in? Okay guys, so have the same thing every time since yesterday, but when I refresh then uh, it is starting a new queue. Okay, so I'm not the only one. Oh, I'm 86. So 
We are 62 right now, guys. 60, 63. <laughs> yep. So, it looks like the number of players are increasing. Slowly increasing. So, we started uh, one, one hour and 10 minutes ago. It was around 200 players in the queue. Then, when we finished our time, or 30 minutes of play game. Uh, sorry, of gameplay. <laughs> uh we joined again and there were less than 10 but the game didn't work properly and now when we join it was around 70 but another player who was sharing the discord why this happens why this happens what can he do You can submit multiple service. Oh, Franken. You can submit multiple service by clicking on the hyperlink in this message. Ooh, nice. Well, I already did it. And guys, I'm going to submit the second survey because this queue, I don't like this queue, honestly. <laughs> well, I I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one. And the team of MSOR, they are doing this kind of queue system for a very good reason. I'm pretty sure of this. Because uh, it will be easier to just give the option to all players to join the game freely when they want. But I'm pretty sure that they are doing this for a very, very important reason. So, I'm just waiting. I, I don't know if you guys just joined now the stream from the Discord. Because I was sharing there that I'm playing the... I'm streaming about Ambassador. If that's the case, welcome everyone. And I'm just waiting. I'm 64 right now. And as you can see... <laughs> My position in the queue is moving forward and then getting back. So I'm just there. I was able to play 30 minutes one time. And I was able to complete some quests, kill some, some enemies and collect many resources and craft only one shield and sword. Only this. So let's see guys if we can do something else. I would love to go to... Let me check. To talk with Rashi here at the capital would be nice but something important guys if you are also waiting in the queue I recommend you because I don't know if this is something that happened to me for this reason but just in case you don't know that we don't have much time left to play the game so if you are with the window here of the queue open here in the browser don't open any other tab I mean don't focus on any other tab focus only on this tab on this window just in case because when it was my turn i was checking another tab then i got back to the to the queue tab to join the game and it was stuck in the green status bar so i don't know if that's a reason or not but that's just a theory from me so if that's the case be careful be careful because you will need to refresh like i did and that's a little annoying yeah me too but then it starts a new queue Yep. Same. So. 58. Well, I could be like this for a long time. I mean, should be, should be uh, between 15 and 20 minutes since I started. But I'm not sure about these guys. So let's see if we can join again at least second time a second time will be so nice and later i'm not going to dinner yet uh what time is it here in spain it's oh seven and a half hmm yeah so yeah i'm not going to dinner yet i like to dinner earlier but no i'm i will try to play at least one sec uh, second time second run for ambassador and maybe later I will go to dinner and I will be back to play in Spanish. Because it will be my first time playing in a Spanish Ambassador. And I mean here in the stream. And it's just like... A, 
I don't know, an experiment. I want to see how this works and if there are people who from the Spanish community that I want that want me to play and see well what's someone playing Ember Sword in Spanish or any other game. So yeah. I've been playing for uh one year when I started with Big Time. I started in English always, always streaming in English, but from time to time I was streaming also in Spanish in Big Time. Never did it for the sandbox and neither for auto ring but yeah i tried a few times in in big time because i was part of a spanish guild and i thought that was a good idea to to stream in spanish but nah i was always doing it in in english so yeah i will i will probably yeah try to play one i'm not thinking about playing even a third time now after this run because that will be it will be amazing to try to complete more quests and go deeper. But guys, uh, it's it's difficult to me to understand how they are just giving you 30 minutes and there are five quest lines. I mean, and only two days to play. I mean, I don't know what plans do they have. Maybe it's to provide a lot of content so you can don't get bored with this play uh, alpha play test. But I mean, maybe they want to open again the game later. Maybe next week they will run a second playtest. I don't know. Or maybe in two weeks or one month. And they are just planning to, to have this already prepared by then. I don't know. But that will be interesting to know why they are providing so many quest lines and so many quests here in the game. And we don't have too much time to play. Because now I will be a little, uh, how to say, cry baby or cry boy. But it's a little frustrating that we have so much content, so much content to play. And we don't have time to do it. It's a little a little sad. So yeah, wow, wow. <laughs> but anyway, let's, let's see if we can complete something else. And yeah, I want to talk with Rashi. Yeah, if I'm able to complete this quest to Rashi, I will be happy. You know, we need to collect uh, copper ores. Also, what else? Mm, some birches, wood. Yeah, we also need this. And I don't remember if the other thing it was maple wood. I don't remember. But yeah, let's do this later. Or later. As soon as we join the game and it's working. Unfortunately, this is the hard reality of an alpha. Sorry to hear this happens to you guys. Okay, nope. Hmm. Yeah, just sharing with the... Um... Okay, so just posting in the discord server of Embus War. Uh, this is an alpha and we can should expect things like that. Yep. Yeah guys, I I was posting there in the Discord group. And yeah. 41. Yeah, I was I was posting writing in the Discord server of Ember Swore. I'm not really active there. I mean, I'm always checking the announcements, the community announcements. Also, from time to time, I'm checking the general panel and so on. But I'm not a very, very active uh, user, to be honest. That's because they are very active. I mean, the community and also the, the team, the marketing team, they did a great job. I mean, just need to, you need to think that the last time that they released a playable version it was one year ago and since then they have been sharing every single week 
announcements, progress on designs, implementations, and new features, videos of what we were going to find. I mean, Embersor, the team of Embersor and the marketing, obviously, first of all, I'm not being paid by them. I'm not even an official uh, streamer or partner or whatever. I mean, I'm just a single guy here streaming but for fun. And I have some land plots, obviously, and one gold batch. But it's just my own and transparent opinion that they have, they, they have done a great job in this last year. Promoting and also keeping the community and the project alive. Even there was no product. I mean, we were waiting one year. One year to play this game. And it's amazing how they did it. It's amazing. So just imagine when once the game starts, how this could be. How this could be. Seriously. So 39. Yeah. Oh, guys. And remember, once uh, this alpha, public alpha, ends today, uh, I I guess it's it should end, if I'm not wrong, guys, within, let me think, four hours and a half, I guess, more or less, should end four in within four hours and a half, I guess. Yeah. So we don't have much time. We don't have too much time. So... I don't know if I will be able to play in Spanish later, honestly. I mean, that's something that I wanted, but I mean, first of all, my priority is in English. Try to make a good content for the gameplay review that I will try to post later. Uh, well, later tomorrow or, or past tomorrow. In t well, I will try to edit this video and upload it to my YouTube channel. But yeah, I, will, I want to, first of all, focus on the content for the English version. And if I feel that that's good enough, then I will jump into the Spanish stream. But until then, I, I will keep playing in English. <laughs> yeah, Franken is answering me here in the Discord. Because I was I was sharing again my, my opinion and as I said some minutes ago, it's a great progress from the pre-alpha to see what they have been working with. I mean now we can see other players moving smoothly around us, attacking, we can participate in combats together with them. I mean we are not part of a group, and I guess that this feature is not implemented yet. You cannot join other players in a in a single group a party but you can participate and kill together one mob like for example the pool i guess that's the name pool that big uh bear there in the in the forest we were able to to kill it together me and other players and i don't know if we are sharing the experience we are sharing the items because uh there were some items dropped and i was able to collect it also happened this with some cloud bots I don't know if maybe the first player who attacks one uh, enemy, the the rewards that are dropped into the ground are going to them. I mean, to the first one who is attacking the enemy or all the players attacking the same enemy, they are sharing the rewards. I don't know how this works, honestly, but that was so nice to have that feeling that we are participating and playing together, even there. As you can see, 10, 15 players in the same screen and attacking all the enemies there. So that was amazing. That was amazing. Beta is more gameplay focus. Whoa, focus uh, showing a clearer picture of what the game look and feel like. It's also not only a test for the game, but also for the underlying game engine. Engine, sorry. That is developed in house. Yeah, that's true. The the game engine for Embersor. It's developed by themselves. I mean, they are not using any other a game engine like Unity or Unreal Engine. They are using their own engine. That's absolutely crazy. I don't know exactly how this technology works and what they are creating, honestly. But that's incredible and 
yeah, they are also doing this for other developers, uh, creating other games. So that's so interesting. And all at the same time, so time consuming and yeah, that's probably why it's taking so much time for them. But once they have the final product for this, guys, boom, that's incredible. Anyway, that's not solving the problem now for you guys, but hopefully keeps a better perspective. Absolutely. Yep. So guys, 10, 28. I mean, it's taking a little of time. I don't know if we, it's taking so much time like when we were at 200 position, but let me check. I mean, for 200 positions, we needed to wait half an hour and now we needed to wait 70 something positions and we have to spend, I think that's 60 minutes or something like that. So... Yeah, 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 that could be more or less what you can expect. But again, we are still not in the game yet. And I need to drink water because I'm talking too much. If I'm not playing, I need to talk. That's what it is. <laughs> so if you want to ask something, guys, feel free to do it. I... In... But it's, it's really exciting to see the progress of this alpha wrestling. As I said, I would love to be able to, to explore more content. And I hope that we can do this. But just remember, guys, we needed to wait one year from the pre-alpha to the alpha. Okay. And here, Franken in Discord, he's uh, sharing about the beta. Beta is more gameplay focus, showing a clear picture of what the game look and feel like. So, I don't know if the next stage for Ember Sword will be a beta. So, you know... Oh, there we go! Oh, there we go, there we go! <sighs> Finally, guys, we jumped 28 positions. That's amazing. That's amazing. I, I, I cannot believe it. Okay, let's try to don't waste our time. And let's see if we can craft anything here before we are being disconnected or whatever. Um, 15. Uh, oh yeah, I was crafting a sword and a shield. Let's see if it's the same that I had before. I mean, I have training sword and shield. Okay, and I'm silly because I, it's the same that I already had. Okay, I spent stupidly some resources. Can I drop it? No. You keep drop. There's, let's drop it for any... I don't know if I can maybe recycle this, but I don't think so. Anyway, let's kill some enemies. Come on, I, will, I want to kill. Let's go. We'll win. Boom. Let's collect resources. And okay. Again, what to, What did I need to... Okay, let, let me check because I don't remember what I need to, to collect. Um... Iron ore. Okay, I need iron ore only five. So let's go, guys. We have some iron here close to us. Oh, the pool. Let's help him. Let's go. Let's jump. Boom. There we go. Let's go to this iron vein and... What? Level five? Why level 5? I mean, oh, maybe it's a bigger one and we need more level to play the I to mine this. So let's jump. I'm not jumping too much, but you can do it with the space skin. Oh, you can see that these copper veins... Ah, it was iron! Oh my goodness. It was iron and this is copper and that's what we need. Ah, look at this. Ah, let's, let's mine a little more so we can craft maybe some things. And in the meanwhile, let's attack 
is boar. Oh, let's go. Let's kill two in a row. Great. Okay. Oh, careful. You died? Oh, <laughs> let's respawn. Anyway, uh, I died. It's the first time that I'm dying. Look at this. What? What? Why did I die? Okay, me. I need to be careful. I need to be careful. Anyway, um... Okay, I'm again at the top of the stone and I'm not able to mine. Oh, careful with this. Careful with this. Let's go. Let's go. We'll win. Oh, I was... Ah, I didn't perform the, the attack with the shield. Anyway, let's mine a little more. Because I want to level up to level 5. Oh, this is going to take me a little of time, I guess. So, let's go. More ore for me. Let's see if we can level up. So we can also start mining iron. Let's mine this as well. Let's go. Let's see how this progress in real time. So, well, it's easy because they are respawning the resources easily. In no time. So that's great. And we are going to level up to level 5. Or mining skill. You can see here. And boom. So now we can mine also iron. Just in case we need it later. So let's go to the settlement here. And see if we can complete the quest. Okay. What am I missing? Iron on! Oh, okay, we got the iron probably from a quest or... I don't know, maybe killing an enemy? But I was missing this. Oh my god. I don't know what's happening to me today. I'm like... I will sleep him. So, let's mine this iron. Remember to mine this chromite. We need level 10, so we are not able to do so yet. Um, great. We are getting a lot of experience, by the way. Um, and we needed 12 irons. And we got enough. Oh, let's, let's mine this again. Oh, look at this. This player ha is having some troubles to kill the... Oh, let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's help him. Oh. Let's help him. Oh, let's sprint. There we go. Boom. Ah, ha, ha, level 9. It feels so good to help all, play all players, right? <laughs> Let's complete the quest in the settlement. There we go. We're going to get 400 experience, collect rewards. And let's see if we can craft something interesting. Oh, what about this? Oh, not yet. Okay, let's craft this, guys. Uh, this shield and sword, because we'll be better. So we need a little more of breeches, breeches, wood, and also iron, right? It's iron? Yeah. Let's go. Also, we have, for example, a pistol. Oh, guys, I mean, I never did this. And what is this? Danger Walker. I have no idea what is this. Um, let's do something different. Let's craft a pistol. Because everyone is using a sword. Let's craft a pistol. We need the same resources. Iron and birch, war, uh, birch wood. <laughs> so, let's do this. We found the iron here. Let's collect it. Oh, I can collect this, by the way. Oh, not interesting. Let's keep mining iron. And we also needed some birch wood. Let's see. Uh, I got enough. Not enough. I need a little more. Let's craft. I, let's mine it. Let's go. And miner level 6. Okay. So now I need the birch wood. Let's go. I guess I can find it easily here. Oh, look at this. This is what I said before. This kind of uh, shield at the top of the player. Wow. So this is a skill, I guess, but I don't know which one. Also, I don't know how to change my skills. Uh, okay, now I'm a little lost. Oh, someone died here. Um, 
I'm a little lost, so um what is the ritual? I need some riches. And I I'm only finding okay here. Let's go. I need it not so much. Okay, careful with this. Okay, this war it's waiting for me. At least it's a friendly one waiting for me to Let's go. Oh! There we go. There we go. Boom. And let's yeah, cut some more wood. There we go. Meat too and skin. Great. So let's collect all of this and let's go to the settlement. Let's go to the settlement and try to craft a better... S no, the pistol. I want to craft the pistol, I said. Yeah. To have something different, you know, guys. I don't know how the pistol works. I mean... Oh, we can craft everything here. So, as I said, beginner's flintlock pistol. I mean, I'm crafting this to have something different, guys. Because everyone has a sword, but I want a pistol. So let's see how the pistol works. Let's press C and... Let's... Right... Well, right. For me, it's... Yeah. Right button. For me, it's the left. Because I'm ha left hand when playing. Only when playing. When I'm writing, I'm right hand. But anyway, that's a, <laughs> a weird thing from me. Let's equip it. And now we are using a pistol. Let's see how this works. Wow! Okay, so if you... Wh wherever you are, you can use this. And you can see... Wow. Okay, guys, let's try this. I mean, we can kill from the distance. That is amazing. And... Okay, the pool was already killed. Let's find some boards just to practice. Yeah, now everything is... Is dead. Seriously. Okay, let's go to the... To the capital to talk with Rashi. Oh... Look at this. Oh, careful, careful. Oh. Look at this. Oh, so easy, guys. If you have the chance to play today, use the pistol because it's so easy. And the king's leaf. Let me see if I have enough level. No, level five. So let's kill this one yet. Hey, also. Oh, so easy with the ah, weapon pistols level up. So there are skills for the sword and the pistols as well, and also the staff. Maybe that's the other uh, weapon that we saw before, and I had no idea. Weapon sense. Ah, oh, shit, guys. Okay, so we can use this and equip, and we. Oh, look at this! You can change the perspective with V, the V key. So look at this. Ah, that's the other weapon, the sensor. Oh. Because my English, it's not perfect. I had no idea about this. That sensors means uh, math or whatever. So, pr I prefer the pistol, honestly. So, let's equip it. Because you can attack from the distance. And, I mean, we are... The problem is that we don't have a shield. But it's so easy to kill. So, let's go to the capital, by the way. Let's not waste more, more time. So, we need to go there, but... With rushing. No. Let's see, guys. Who is at the bottom? Tom. Let's talk. Oh, is anyone killing me? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. So, the good thing is that when I'm attacking, I don't need to press any key like in Diablo or any other game. I mean, when you are attacking, that's the only thing that it's doing. It's stuck there in the, in the place where the avatar is. He, he doesn't move. And you can start spamming the attack so let's go so easy guys to kill with the pistols so easy so easy i mean as franken was saying right now this is just an alpha oh there we go so easy with the pistol there we go level four oh don't tell me that now Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, guys. I'm going to level up so easily. So, let's continue. Now, uh, let me see. Can I cross the river? 
I don't know. Let I mean, pre-alpha it was possible to cross the river just walking, and now it's also possible. Great. So let's see if we can find. Uh, I forgot the name. I'm I'm sorry, guys, but I'm so bad for names to remember them. So uh, it's just there. He she was Tom Winkler. Tom. Let's start with Tom. Only a little of experience. It was just a typical quest to talk with an NPC. Nothing special. Gather for spice moss. Then craft and bring a minor health potion to Tom Winkler. Okay, delivered. Okay, we need to collect to gather for spice moss. So this is a quest of craft of crafting potions. This is part one. Well, one of the quests lines, but what is the plan that I need to gather? Ah, and here we need to craft the potions. Interesting. So, another shop here. Inventory. You can buy this stuff. So, if you don't want to waste time gathering and collecting resources and crafting, you can buy these kind of things. And how much gold do I do I have? 150. You can see here. I would love to buy uh, some equipment like armor and things like that. Helmet, chest piece, but not here, guys. Not here. So maybe there is another shop. Oh, guys, we saw this same place, this same scenario in the pre-alpha. I mean, now there are more things, but these cats were there. I don't remember the books. I only remember the cats, but it's pretty the same. I, I mean, they made this scene more beautiful. That's true. But it's it's the same place than, than the one from the pre-alpha. So, yeah, the pre-alpha was happening here, I guess. And they expanded all of this. Well, probably the deep forest. No, the deep forest was also there as well in the pre-alpha. But not the mountains, because uh, if you try to go to the mountains, obviously in the pre-alpha we had no idea about the, the mountains, but if you try to go there in the past, in the, in the pre-alpha... Oh, here, Spice Moss. Uh, there was uh, some kind of blocker. I don't remember if it was a guard or a simple uh, signpost there saying that you weren't able to, to keep walking. Because it was um, it was dangerous or whatever. I don't remember the reason. But yeah. So we need to gather a little more. Let's see. Uh, they said we need to craft the potions. And uh, stupidly, I didn't check what do we need to craft potions. So that's an important thing to check, guys. So and it's the same sound effect than from the pre-alpha. <laughs> that's so funny. So. To... Oh, I don't pick X. Okay, guys. So, and this is... Oh, this is to... To use your skills quickly. I mean, that's interesting. But this is not the table to craft. It's this one. Alchemy table. So, if we want to craft a health potion... What? Okay, let me, let me check. What do we need? Minor health potion. Okay, not the other one because we don't have level for that. So, let me see. If I want to craft this, I need to craft 10. Let's see, another one. Oh, it was 4. Me and my memory. 4. So, I need... Oh, look at this. Here we have the spice moss so let's collect it we need only four more and we will be able to craft the last minor health potion so let's do this and craft it let's go i don't know if with with the escape we can close the window yeah so and deliver a minor health potion deliver maybe he means that i need i need to use it so let's see if that's true or not okay let's go craft it and i will use one let's see and now uh let's close this window and consume one minor potion it's use right click and use i use one but nothing 
I mean, we didn't complete this. Ah, the liver items. Boom. There is a button there. Should be highlighted this button to so you are you realize that it's there. I mean, it's right now the the UI is very simple, and these gray buttons, in my opinion, it's not really a good idea. Because now, for example, should be a, a gold or shiny button saying collect rewards. But right now, it's that's not the case. But anyway, alchemy level 5. So, what is this? Combat stick. Ooh. I mean, I, I already have my pistol and I prefer that. Bring 10 bubble reeds to Tom Winkle. Winkle. There. Whatever. And, okay, this quest line i mean oh i didn't accept the quest okay guys let's go to the capital because i want to talk with brashi before this second round uh, of the of the demo finishes yeah oh okay oh look at this look at this oh careful oh i was outside from the area but i was killed ah you get iron from the cloud bots, by the way that's interesting can i also collect this no look at him the good thing is that the enemies react when you are attacking them at least they are reacting that's something great it's oh look at this a nice place to do a picnic uh let's go to the capital so we need to just follow the king's road let's go there and i don't know where i could craft my armor but anyway okay this is from other players I feel a little naked without uh, an armor. Let's see if we can do this later, maybe. You have a button on top of your name. This is a button? No. Uh, no. I don't have this button. Anyway. Um, look at this. What is it? It's a quest? No, it's just blocking your path so you cannot go there okay so this to avoid you get lost in the in the capital but this obviously when the game is released or uh, maybe the beta version we should be able to explore the whole capital which is it's huge you can see this it's double size or even more than a uh, town yeah it's, it's incredible so it's just the the path that we need to follow it's the one that it's going to bring us to rashi I guess, right? Wow, this this looks like a town hall. By the way, the, the music playing from Spotify is so epic. I love it. So, wow. Can we get inside the building, by the way? Yeah. Wow, this looks like a bank. Wow. I love how this building looks inside. Seriously. It looks so beautiful. And Rush, it's just there. Let's go. Wow! I mean, I, I'm all the time surprised, but guys, it's... Okay, what, what do we need to do with Rashi? Deliver a letter. Okay, again, because we already did this before, but what we need to do is press this button, deliver items, and boom, we complete the quest. And now, weapon pistols level up. So, looks like we are leveling up the, the skill with the weapon that we are having in that time when we complete the quest. That's interesting. I was leveling up before the sword and shield, and now, well, the sword. I guess it was only the sword, not the not the shield. I guess. Well, it's going together the shield and the sword. So yeah, but now I'm using the pistol. Purchase a black truffle from a local mer merchant and bring the truffle to Kylie Trunt. Okay, so finish rushing mass now. Oh, hero. Hero of Tanabus. Ah, this is completing all the quests. Nice. So let's just. Oh, 10,000 gold coins and 25,000 exp experience. Wow. So one more quest to stick competition. Meet Shady Guy. Okay, let's let's accept it. And let's go, guys. What about this? We already completed the one for Rashi. Must now. And staff infection. So on and so on and so on. Anyway, um, we need to go here now, guys. I don't know if there is a way to respawn. Let's see. Oh, this is an animation. Another animation. But I don't have this button that one guy was saying. 
I mean the at the top of your head it's not a button it's no it's not a button for me can I respawn no I don't see the way to respawn I'm missing something I guess but I don't see the way to respawn anyway let's go and walk on to deliver that quest boom so exciting to use the this pistol oh this pad we saw the design in the discord group this one i don't remember if it was a npc pad or i don't know we saw this and it was so beautiful so now let's cross this bridge and try to complete this quest where are we okay, so close let's go guys max and let's talk with him and earn your white belt defeat 10 players in the pvp arena okay we can try this but the problem is that we will need to find people oh there are people here oh look at this look at this look at this ah <laughs> oh no level 35 come on it's not fair i mean only have you no ah we have different Ah, look at this. Oh, come on. It's not fair. Ah, they're trying to chase me. So, bye-bye. Left bar Battle Arena, come on. I mean, I'm just 17. So, guys, we cannot complete this quest about the PP because it's not really... It's not fair. Anyway, let's go then... What can come? Ah, let's go to talk with. Uh, I forgot the name of this NPC, but let's go to this town, maybe town or city. Let's see. Yeah, I guess it's regular plot, uh, then settlement. Maybe it's town, then city, and the last thing it's capital, which is the center of each region, like Solarwood. I guess that's the right order for the different kinds of lands. Let's see if we can collect this and we can do it. Oh, look at this broken teeth X-Man. Oh, I guess it, this this enemy is part of the of the bandit threat quest. So let's try to see if we can kill it. Let's go. Oh, so easy. Oh, we can collect gold from killing these guys and carrots. Okay, that's interesting. So, oh, careful. Oh, let's see what skills do I have. Okay, uh, it's a little more difficult to use the, the pistol. Oh, and some king leaves. Let's see. Let's see if I can use, for example, four. Wow. I mean, the skill number four, it's so, so powerful. Let's go. Yeah, it's more difficult to, to master the, the pistol. I mean, the basic attack is so easy to use. And thanks to this, you can defeat enemies from the distance. But it's so... Wow. Number three. Let's go. And I need to be careful because they are spawning all the time. So let's simply go away and try to complete the quest. Let's go. And I guess. It oh, more enemies here. Another one just there. Ah, it's a musketer. So, ah. It, let's. It was number two. Wow. One single shot. There we go. There we go. I, it's easier to use the pistol, but uh, from a player experience, I prefer the sword and shield, honestly. I mean, it's more... I don't know. I, I have more fun, I guess. Uh, let's see uh, the map. Oh, I'm still not there. So here I can use this fishing rod. No, it's just... 
something cosmetic. Okay, so uh, I need a bridge. Oh, this was also part of the pre-alpha or something similar, I guess. Oh, let's craft a little of... Oh, look at this, a compass? No, I don't know what is this. A basket, I guess. It's a basket. Let's... Oh, this jam, did you see? How it was performed? Just flipping in the sky? There, I mean, wow. So nice. Let's go. And we are going to cross the river right now. And try to complete this quest. A meal here. Oh, um, cloudbots. Cloudbots, I mean. Let's go. There we go. Copper ore. Oh, so beautiful this. Um, this white thing here is a little weird. But the idea, it's so cool. So here, oh, harvest level 5. Um, oh, it's so beautiful because in the pre-alpha there were no NPCs as far as I remember. Okay, need to be careful. There we go. Oh, okay. These cop uh, cloudbots are stronger when I'm using my um, pistol. Okay, we are so close, guys. Let's keep moving and just skip these robots. I mean, all the NPCs look looks the same. I mean, the males are the same 3D model, and the woman woman and are the same, also the same asset, 3D asset. But anyway, guys, it's so exciting to find NPCs in the map. So we are going to enter the city. Yeah, it's regular plot. Settlement, town, city, and this huge thing, it's the capital for solar wood. So, let's try and go through the city. I mean, you can buy all the land plots in open sea and also in Trove Market or something like that was. I don't remember the name of this marketplace. I didn't use it too much, honestly. Bad. Ooh, something happened. Thank you, Andy. Ah, Andy Richie from... Ah, it's a ride. Thank you for the ride, Andy. Good to see you here. I saw your Twitter that you were you were sharing that you wanted to play Ember Sword. I hope that you did it, man. Hey, Hillary. Welcome to the... No! Your alpha plate says session is... Ah! <laughs> it's the second time happening me this. Holy shit. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Just when Andy was writing me, the playtest ended. So, welcome everyone. I'm sorry guys that the playtest ended. So, let's try to join. I mean, I'm not going to fill this time. I'm not going to fill for a second time. I will do it later. And I will try to join once again the queue and try to play. Oh. 200 positions. This will be a little more than... Three, uh, yeah, 30 minutes should be half of an hour. So, guys, we will need to wait a little more. So, it looks like this is similar to yesterday because uh, at this time or even one, two hours later, I I had to wait 500 positions in the queue. So, it looks like we are getting there. We are, well, the number of players are increasing hour by hour. So... Yeah, guys, if you want to play Ember Sword, do it as fast as you can, because you only need to register an account and verify your email. So that's all. And, oh, Hilary, I'm so happy that you are also here checking Ember Sword. We have been playing uh, the Sandbox in the last weeks, but now it was time to play yesterday and today Ember Sword. Yesterday, I was only able to play three minutes. Yeah, not so much before the servers were disconnected. But today, I've been able to play two runs. Two runs. So, so nice, guys. I've been able to, to complete many quests. Also craft some items, some equipment. Also, I crafted one pistol. And I have to say that I like... I prefer the way how the sword and shield works at this moment. But it's easier to kill with the pistol. 
much easier with the pistol. So if you want to level up quickly, use the pistol because it's so easy with this. So easy. So how was your stream, by the way, Andy? And everyone here in the stream, how was the experience? Did you like how Ember Sword is looking? Do you like the game? Do you like the, the alpha? Did you guys play the pre-alpha? Because I did it one year ago. I was playing the pre-alpha. And as I was sharing in the score and also here in the stream before, the let's say the progress that they did, it's incredible. I really love what I'm playing now, yesterday and today. I, I love it. I simply love it. And I can wait for the beta because Franken in the Discord server of Embosor, he was sharing about the next stage should be the beta and will be so interesting to see what we will be able to, to test and for, I, I will love to see a longer period of time to test the game. And also as uh, Carlos was sharing before, will be great to, to have more time and play the game during the weekend. Obviously, we don't play the game during the weekend because the team of Ember Sword, they work from Monday to Friday, I guess, and they don't work during the weekend. So that's the main reason why we are playing between, yeah, like a uh, Thursday and Wednesday, something like that. But anyway, all good there. I think people are a bit frustrated with the weights. I know, Hilary, I know. The same happened in the pre-alpha. There was a queue and we needed to wait. And there were not so many people like now. It was the queue. I mean, maybe the number of players who were able to play at the same time, it, it was less. It was less because they needed to test with less people. But now that they are accepting more people at the same time because we can see like 10 players at the same time in the same map the, in the same region that we are playing there uh the problem is that there are more and more and more people trying to join the game so yeah it's it's a little frustrating i'm not going to lie it's a little frustrating it's very frustrating <laughs> yeah because we all want to play embassor we want to finish all the quests craft the better armors the better weapons and try to unlock everything you saw guys that there is one last quest where you are getting 10,000 gold coins and 25,000 experience points by completing all the other quests it's like the pardon quest the big one the huge one to finish everything in the game and you finally complete this one so yeah I mean, the good thing, guys, it's that compared to the pre-alpha, uh, now everything, all the information, all the progress that you make, that you make in the in the game, it's permanent. So the good thing is that, for example, the last location where we were playing, when you join again the game, uh, the game, the next run, for example, now when we are going to spawn, we will be spawning in the same place, same spot, same location that before. That's great because something that happened in the pre-alpha if you were playing by then and you remember it's that every time that you were joining the game i mean joining the queue and playing it was you were starting from scratch i mean level zero you had no elements no equipment no progress i mean all the skills were reset so i mean that's something great that at least we can keep our progress and everything that we got Obviously, if they are releasing a beta version or even the public release, whatever, I'm pretty sure that they are going to reset everything in your avatar account. I mean, the level, the skills, the element items, whatever, everything will be reset. But at least having some permanent progress, that's something nice. And it feels not so frustrating at least. Obviously, I would love to play like you guys. I would love to do so, but... Anyway, as well, Franken was sharing in the Discord group, uh, this is an alpha, so we should expect things like this. We should expect to simply test as much as we can the game. I hope that we don't need to wait one year again to play the, the beta version of 
game, uh, of Embers War because waiting one year again that will be killing seriously I, I mean I I went to play the beta maybe in two three months honestly maximum but anyway they are developing their own engine so to make the, this game and maybe future games and also provide it to third part third party developers and things like this takes a lot of time so we need to be patient but yeah i hope that they are releasing the beta soon anyway guys 155 oh my goodness this is going to be a long wait long wait so I don't know when I... Oh, I've been playing 2 hours and 7 minutes. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. Maybe this will be my last run playing in English. And I will be back later to play in Spanish. I mean, I will go to dinner. Uh, well, first, I will play a third time more in English. Go to dinner and I will be back to play in Spanish. I mean... The problem is that I, when I'm streaming in Spanish, I will continue the progress from before. So as I told you, it's permanent. So yeah, I wanted to create a gameplay review in English and another one in Spanish. So the problem is that I will start the gameplay review in Spanish starting from level 19, I guess I am, or even level 18. And with many skills already progress. So in advanced level so anyway we will see guys but yeah um i'm i'm really excited to make this also try to do it in spanish i thought that i wouldn't be able and at least if i can stream one time in spanish it will be so so nice just to see it's, it's an experiment only you know guys i've been streaming for one year i had the break of three four months but i've been streaming for one year and always doing it in english Basically, because the community side I'm part of, or the games that I'm playing with, the main language always it's uh, English. The only one where we can see a bigger community in Spanish it's Auto Ring, basically because the team it's from Spain, and yeah, there is a huge Spanish community there. But for the rest of the games, well, also big big time, big time, they are from at least. Uh, they are from Argentina, I guess. Part of the team. Obviously, it's worldwide. The team, it's around the world. But, yeah, I... Yeah, big time, it's mainly in English as well. Yeah. That's why I'm always playing in English. So, yeah, that's the main reason. And also, at the end, I'm part of uh, Meta Brands. You know, I'm an advisor of Meta Brands. So also the community there is also in English. Obviously there are some Spanish members, but most of people where they speak it's English. So at the end, I, I love to do things in English to, to be able to, to talk with all of you guys. Obviously, if there's someone speaking Spanish, I can answer him in Spanish. But I would love to speak more languages. <laughs> That's not the case. Well, yeah, I, I speak Catalan, but this is a language spoken in in, a, in some specific regions of Spain. Well, one region <laughs> only. And I guess it's some, also in Italy, there are some islands where all people also speak this language. But anyway, mainly in English. And let's see how the stream in Spanish goes. By the way, how, how are you doing, guys? Hilary, did you play Embers War? Are you enjoying the game? I know that you say that it's a little frustrating not being able to play and need to wait in the queue. That's right. But were you able to play at least? I mean, the good thing, I mean, I will prefer a standalone application, a desktop application, just to have a better performance. I haven't played. Oh, okay. So the good thing is that you just need to create an account verify your your email account i mean you go to your email inbox press the button and you verify your account and then you can join the queue wait one hour half an hour and start playing but i have watched a few streamers now great one of them it was andy richie <laughs> great <laughs> great i i was also watching andy richie when he was streaming the sandbox some time ago also Alex, 
and so on. And also the Vision X, whose name is uh, Joseph. It's like my name, but in English. My name is in Catalan, Joseph. So it's the same name. Uh, but his stream, uh, the, the user in Twitch is Vision X. By the way, he was writing me uh, from the official account of the Sandbox one time. Um, it was so exciting. So many people there when I was playing the... I was playing the Walking Dead experience for the Alpha Season 3. It was so exciting. Yeah, he streamed this the other night. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I know that Division X was streaming yesterday when the, when the Alpha was released. And... I guess that Alex was playing together with him and now I saw that Andy Ritchie was tweeting uh, because I'm following him on, on Twitter <laughs> yeah, and he was tweeting about that he was starting a new stream so it's nice to see people jumping from one project to another and having fun that's, that's so nice yeah, at the end it's not about only playing one game I mean, I, I love for example, Big Time. I love playing Big Time. It's a triple A game that I'm really enjoying. Also, it's so nice to see how the team is sharing all the progress. The same thing it's doing Ember Sword, but in a, in an impressive way. I really love the communications and how Ember Sword is doing things for the last year. I mean, I would say since the beginning, the very beginning that I joined the Discord server, but the last year was impressive the work that they did. Obviously, I was it was frustrating to wait one year to play again and only having two days <laughs> two days only to play and with the queue system i mean this is probably yeah i feel you hillary it's so frustrating to wait one year then having only two days and need to wait between half of an hour if you are in the spot uh, in the position 200 more or less and one hour if you are in 500 or so at the time that I needed to wait yesterday. One hour I needed to wait yesterday to play. And finally, when I joined the game, uh, I needed, well, I had only three minutes to play uh, until the servers were disconnected. If you watch my video in YouTube, when I realized that the servers were disconnected, if you watch my face, my reaction, you will, because I'm, I'm someone who Re really how to say i express my 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 feelings in a very transparent way uh i'm not the, this kind of person who tries to, to block himself and trying to i don't know whatever happens you will see my face and my reactions are so transparent that it was i was so shocked but at the same time laughing because it was i mean it was like a bad joke that i was waiting one one hour and just three minutes of gameplay but obviously, as I said yesterday, there were people waiting for one hour as well, or even a little more, and they weren't able to join the game. So yeah, that's probably more frustrating if you are waiting for a long time and you're not able to. So anyway, as I told you guys, this is probably because they are taking, well, they are trying to take control of which people, I mean, the number of people who are joining the game also uh this needs to happen in uh in a worker time i don't know if this is right to say but i mean when the their day job is starting for the big i remember sword team it's when they are working and checking this this activity inside the game this is why it's from 10 i guess until 12 something like that so well, obviously that's my theory, but I honestly think that that's the case and why this this playtest, alpha playtest, is working like that. Hmm. So guys, um, we need to wait a little longer. We have been waiting for 10 minutes, 10, 12, 13 minutes, I guess. Uh, and then we need to wait the double of time. Yeah, 12, 13 minutes more. I know it's a little frustrating or boring, I don't know. Um, yeah, you can see other streamers who are also waiting. There are two more streamers who are waiting, I guess, 
One of them has a, a screen with stream is starting soon. So probably he's going to join the queue now. So he will need to wait 30 minutes. And the other guy, I am not able to see what he is doing. So there are three streamers. Oh, no, no. He just disconnected now. Oh, he just disconnected. So there are only two streamers for MSR. At least the, the category, I mean. Me and Easy Dorf. He's starting soon, guys. But as I said, I don't know if he's going to join the queue now. So if that's the case, you will need to wait 30 minutes or so. Because there are... 200 people waiting at least or even more because i guess that the the as soon as the time keeps passing more people will be joining the game and we will increase from 200 people waiting to up to 500 or maybe not so so many but maybe three four hundred we could see so guys oh yeah yeah i guess that will be my my last run in english and yeah i will go to dinner i know that i already say this but i'm just repeating for people joining now the stream i will play a third and last run in english we will be waiting this 108 positions we will play one more time in english i will go to dinner and i will be back to play in spanish and no idea i mean will be my not my first time in spanish obviously <laughs> i'm playing i'm talking in spanish every day and also i was playing big time in spanish one year ago but i'm not get used to speaking in spanish and i know that it's my my native language but it will feel re uh, weird to speak in, in spanish i guess while i'm streaming so we will see guys <laughs> obviously uh, in theory should i i should feel more natural uh to make jokes and things like that that's probably the the most important limitation that i have when i'm talking in english my vocabulary is very limited um also obviously i'm not so natural like i'm in spanish i try to do so and my reactions are more or less like they will be in Spanish. Yeah, that's what I mean before by uh, being transparent and react as I really feel at that moment. But obviously, sometimes maybe I need to wait uh, to, to think a little more or I'm repeating things because I say things in a, in a wrong way. But I guess that's the thing about streaming and speaking in a language that it's not your native. But obviously, guys, I'm in my day job. I'm the whole day speaking in English. So that's probably even I, if I don't have too much vocabulary, at least I can speak more or less in a, with a good speed, more or less. <laughs> anyway, less than 100 positions to play again third time. Wow, guys. When we when I was uh, refreshing before and it was before my second time playing Embassor, today uh i was joining the queue and i got the position 72 70 something and i needed to wait between 15 and 20 minutes so i don't know if this will be the case again but could be i mean maybe we need to wait 15 20 minutes now with 97 positions so we will see guys and let me check the discord by the way and let's see if there was something interesting mentioned nice i'm trying to be active on as much platform as possible oh, okay Mm. okay so there we go i was writing in the discord server and yeah franken he says uh nice i'm trying to be active on as much platforms as possible so oh yeah of course because 
I'm always streaming from uh, Twitch. But it's true that one time I'm a I'm affiliated to to Twitch. So that the problem of this in theory is that I'm not able to stream in Twitch and also in other platforms like for example YouTube. I mean I could do it, but if for any reason anyone reports me, I guess that I could lose my uh, affiliation with Twitch. I mean I'm not here for the money. Well, it's nice to get some extra money, but I mean, I'm not here for this, so I could easily do it. But right now I'm just focusing on Twitch, but maybe in the future, I don't know guys, if I don't know if this could be a good idea, but I could stream at the same time in Twitch and also in YouTube. I mean, I tested this one time, only one time, and my machine, my PC is able to do so. So I could be streaming by using Streamlabs and OBS, two applications at the same time, I could be streaming in both platforms. So, yep. Maybe, maybe I will try it in the future again, who knows. But by now, I'm more than happy to stream here in Twitch with all of you guys. And also uploading my streams and also compilation videos and gameplay reviews, tutorials, whatever, in my YouTube channel. Because, because there, there is a where you know that here in Twitch, because I'm also a premium user, because I'm paying the Amazon premium for the TV shows and also for buying stuff and so on, I have up to 60 days to have my videos stored here in my Twitch account. But once the 60 days have passed, the videos are deleted from my Twitch account. So what I'm doing is uploading all my streams. Obviously, I edit the videos to have a better looking. And then, yeah. So don't be just the video with the stream to have something else, you know, an intro, uh, an ending and so on. And I am uploading all my streams there. So if you ever want to check my previous stream, because I don't know, maybe you were there, you were talking right now, like, for example, Hillary was doing and also Carlos and so on. And also, if you want to see the, the right of Andy, I don't know, whatever you want to check from the previous stream, you can go to my YouTube channel and check there uh, those streams. But also, because a stream can be, for example, today will be uh, two hours and, I don't know, 20, maybe this stream will be three hours long. But all, while, all the times, maybe they are four hours or so or even more like for example um the other day i was playing for uh the sandbox i guess it was four hours oh no I, it was big time i was playing during four hours a little more than four hours yeah it was so crazy i was completing four adventures and i wasn't able to complete the last one because we died in the boss room it was so 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 annoying at any way um, yeah, I'm uploading videos there, streams and completion videos, tutorial, all of this kind of videos. So you can always check them and have fun, or maybe they are helpful for you. That's what I'm trying to do, for example, in the in the sandbox. I'm uploading many experiences as I can. I'm missing the last one, for example, or the last ones. Yeah, I didn't I didn't have time to play yet. Obviously, because I'm playing Ember War. <laughs> But yeah, I'm uploading experiences from there and just to let people have fun and and maybe if they are useful because you get stuck in some quests or whatever. Or maybe you want to check some extra things that I found, you can enjoy it. So oh, 67 positions guys. The good thing is that I'm still not hungry, so I can still play a third run and I could play even a fourth run in English. But I I know that I need to eat something after this run. I need to eat something, relax a little. Maybe I will watch the new episode of The Mandalorian because this was released today and I had no time yet to, to watch it. So guys, uh, yeah, problem is that I want to play one or even two times in Spanish, so maybe I I won't be able to to watch the Mandalorian today. <laughs> anyway, hmm. <laughs> 
so much sacrifice, guys. In order to play Embosaur, I need to stop doing all the things. And that's the problem of, of a play test of only two days. Uh, if it was at least during the weekend, you know, I could be playing, I don't know, five hours in a row, something like that. But anyway. 65. We are so close, guys. 62? Oh, it's decreasing quickly. Sixty-two. Okay, one, mo one moment, guys. One moment. One moment. Oops. I need to do one other thing. One moment. And I'm back. I'm sorry, guys. I needed to do some stuff in real life. So we are still 62. I was away and it's still 62. So ah. I forgot what I was doing the last time that I was playing before. Um, what I was doing? We talked with Rashi. We accepted uh, two quests. Oh yeah, we went to the to the city at the south. Uh, yeah, because let's check this, guys. Yeah, we went. We are exactly exactly here. Yeah, close to Marcin, and I wanted to accept this quest. Well, to complete it because it was the typical quest about just talking with the NPC and in the grasslands. Yeah, here exactly. Um yeah, we need to complete this quest, talking with Marcin, and then probably we will get a new quest. And what I'm interested in is trying to get some armor. It would be so nice. I mean, obviously we can craft it, but the problem is that I didn't find the the branch to, to craft this this kind of equipment. Well, at least I was able to craft the, the pistol. That's a great thing. So 61, 60. Oh, let's go. Let's go. 59, 58. Oh my goodness. Yeah. By the way, if you see the number decreasing quickly, don't get too excited because sometimes it could happen that the number increases again. I mean, this happened to me before uh, in my second, no, in my first try, my first run, uh, I saw how the counter of the positions was increasing decreasing and all the time moving like that so let's go 55 let's get ready ah well it's great that at least we have good music for my play playlist that i have in spotify Oh, 54. Come on, guys. We are so close. This should be 10 minutes, maybe. Maybe it will be 10 minutes. 52, 51. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And as I told you, 51, 52. At least this time only increase one position. Only one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ay, 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 ay. 
Let me see if I can take anything in this core. What is happening there? In German, we could probably call it a Morgenstern. Still, we are name overall. Literally, translation will be a morning star. Ooh. Yeah, I guess that there is only one language uh, in the game, English. They didn't implement yet translations. So that's sometimes uh, there are some plans. Uh, I saw that the main problem that I have is to understand about the plans. Because I don't know too many names there, but they are very creative, the, name, the names for the plans. And sometimes I have some difficulties to understand what they are, but anyway. And 41! I was checking the Discord and I just missed. 39! Okay, guys, remember the, the second run when we were waiting, we were at the position 28 and we instantly entered the game. So let's cross fingers and maybe this time will be the same. 39! I mean, this is part of the experience having involved well, being in the queue and getting excited to be so close to join the game. It's part of the experience. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, guys, 36. Okay, I see that there are many people in the stream and guys, congratulations to you if you have been waiting for a long, long time. 30 minutes waiting to see the game again. Congratulations to you and thank you for staying here. 34, 33. We are so close. We are so close. This time we are going to try to complete a many quests as we can instead of just leveling up and killing mobs randomly we will try to see if it's possible to complete all the quests so there we go 10 28 and um... oh guys 28 not not this time we are not going to enter the game at 28 position so yeah i don't know maybe at that moment when we well, we joined the game before at the position 28 maybe it means that 28 players joined the game at the same time and i was so lucky and then but not this time anyway we are almost there guys i can feel it i can feel it we are going to join one more time Solar Good. And obviously, uh, I don't think that we will be able to test our own lands in the beta. I mean, I don't know if we will need to wait for the public release. That will be so exciting because, for example, in, in big time, we were able to use our own lands in the pre-alpha. We can already use them but the economy will start being active in the beta version this is in big time in the sandbox for example we cannot use our lands yet i mean we can use them to to stake some tokens and so on but they are not still part of any kind of active economy with they could say i mean we cannot release our experiences in our own lands we are releasing experiences in an open way so yeah that's what i mean but here in ember sword will be nice to, to start testing our lands at some point so guys 19 19 19 positions 18 ahead of us so we are so close oh this music is so epic Dun. Okay, I see that again. I'm the only streamer. The other, the other, there are only two streamers. One of them, it's me, and the other one is still starting soon. So probably 
I I know I was doing the same yesterday. Probably he's waiting until he's close there to, to start playing instead of being 30 minutes, one hour here in the stream talking. I have not too much problem to talk. But obviously will be better if instead of talking we could play something. 1650. Oh, we are there, we are there. I have to say that the skills that we were using with our uh with the sword and shield weapons yeah because the shield it's also a weapon at the end there is the skill number one it looks like a shield attack or something like that or number four even number four when you are sprinting it's also a kind of attack with a shield i guess um i have to say the skills with the sword for me they look much better i i love the experience with those skills from the let's say the melee the melee skills with the sword and shield but with the pistol they are more let's say useful and easy to use because one of them for example it was just targeting one enemy it was number one or two i guess it was targeting one enemy just pressing the the mouse button and boom you you was dealing uh, you were dealing damage there so it was very easy but not so fun maybe I mean, I don't know. I, I love, for example, when I'm jumping and I'm floating in the air, I like to attack as well. So I was expecting this and this is not happening uh, as far as I saw. I, I tried this with the sword and shield and didn't happen and neither with the pistol. So maybe this is something that they need to implement in the next versions, in the next releases. But at this moment, if you want to attack, you need to be, uh, well, you need to stay in the ground. This is, for example, something similar when you are uh, mining or gathering or whatever, you need to stay uh, in the ground. I mean, if you are at the top of a stone, as we saw before, you are not able to perform the, the action. And we are so, so close. Position 8. So, eight positions, and we will get into the game. I'm just thinking that I will need to wait also half of an hour or even more to play in Spanish later after dinner. So, but guys, it is what it is. So, at the end, this is what we want. We want to play Embers War and we need to wait. It's great that when I joined uh, the very beginning for the first run, there were only like 20 or 30 players in the queue and it was so fast to start playing. Seriously. But at this time, probably many people, uh, they finish the day job, working there at the office, whatever, and there they just started playing. So, I don't know, or maybe they start, they finish the, the dinner and they are also playing or whatever. Maybe they just woke up because they are living in the United States or South America. So, oh, there we go. There we go. So, here is the last spot where we finished the last time. So, let's talk with Marcin and complete this quest objective there are no objective it's just talking with him so let's collect rewards oh look at this i guess that i already have this but kill three broken teeth maceman bandits oh we already did this before but we need to do it again obviously right yeah we need to do it once we start the quest we need to obviously start doing it but let me check the pistol that i have beginners oh so this pistol will be will be better than the one that i have this is the city so i don't know where can we find these bandits oh just here guys just here so let's go and here we can see some rewards so some players were killing 
enemies. Let me tag. Uh, remember that the the white arrow. It's us. And uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, not not this one. I want the bandits. So, okay, this player it's being faster than us. Okay, there were a lot of bandits. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Let's kill it. Oh, yep. There we go. So easy to kill these ones. Okay, I need to get closer and boom. Pumpkin, gold, moon, crackle. Crackle? Yeah? Yeah. So, um, let's, let's just kill this time. Let me take them up. Okay, there are two bandits there. Oops. There we go. Okay, let's let's try to to don't collect anything. I mean, by now let's just kill. Oh, they just spawned the same spot. Let's go there, and we will need to go to the top, guys. Oh, what is this? They are also bandits. Broken teeth, doubling. Ah, I can kill them also through the wall. That's a that's a back fix. Ah, back, not the back fix yet. Anyway, um, let's see what do we need to kill. Look at this. Let's use one skill. Oh, wait. Number number two, I can target the enemy. And boom. Number one, I don't remember what it was. Number one. Ah, number one is to run faster. It's to spring. Oh, that's, that's nice. So, uh, more enemies. I need more enemies. More bandits. Let's go there. Um, oh, another pool. Ah, it's a beer. It's not a pool. So the pool was a very special enemy. Okay, so uh, I guess that I'm going away from the zone, the area where I can kill bandits, I guess. So let's come back at the north of the city. Because there we found many, many enemies, many bandits. Oh, these are the walls of the city. So let's just go around the city. And jump, just for fun. <laughs> and here, oh, steel, boars. Okay, so that's not what I wanted. There is a settlement just there. Yeah, there's a settlement. Oh, I didn't saw this lake with the, with the ducks. The family of tax. So, uh, okay, just focus, Giuseppe. Just focus. We need to kill bandits. Come on. And I remember that there were a lot of bandits here, I guess. Oh, another bear just there. Okay, let's check these guys because I'm. Okay, here, here, guys. Here we have the bandits. So I'm going to use number three now. Boom! Okay, let's oh, let's go, let's go and oh, javelin, the javelin, right? Yeah, boom, two hits and done. Broken teeth, halberdier. Okay, and did we complete the quest? Yeah, we completed the quest already. Oh, seriously, we need the progress for the quest. Oh, I got the stack. No, no, no. Please don't tell me that I got the stack. Okay, um, how can I, how can I reset? I mean, in theory, there is a button at the top of my head, but I don't see this button. Help! Main attack. How can I reset my position? How can I respawn? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to do like in sandbox. Let's see if this works. I mean, why not? Respawn. Invalid input. No such common. Uh, guys. Um, any way to respawn? I mean, there were one player in the chat saying that this is a button, but it's not working for me. So, where is the button to reset? Uh, no. Maybe... In the inventory character i don't see the way to reset this by the way the frames yeah it's working 
be nice. But no, this is not what I wanted. How can I reset my position? No, this is animation. And I'm not able to jump. And oh, ah, I could try to die. Okay, let me see if I can die. Oh, no. I'm not being able to be attacked by the by the bear. Let's see. Oh, I'm not able to die. It was another possible way to die. And uh, how can I set my position? No. Oh, the bear is also stuck there. Oh, ah, look at this. Look at this. Oh, finally, finally. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not going to kill the bear just because he was very useful. So we can jump the river and guys, I thought that I just lost my turn to play the game. Anyway, we are good. We are good. Still in this alpha, like in the pre-alpha, we can walk uh, through the river. So just floating and flying over the, the, the river or even the, the sea. And also the lakes, we can... Boom! <laughs> so, wait, we need to go to the south to talk with Marcin again. <sighs> what is this? What is oh, can we craft something? Oh, it's a, like a tailor crafting. So maybe in the future we can also uh, craft here our uh, customs. Or clothes, I mean. Or wearables, whatever. So, um, let's talk with Marcin. Hey, this is a... Oh, I can collect this? No. Ah, oh, I have not enough space. Shit, guys. Hey, uh, let's start with Marcin. Oh, I need to drop something. What can I drop? Okay. Oh. I don't know why this window is moving all the time. Okay. Oh, don't tell me that... Um, okay, now it's fixed. Oh, guys, I'm having so many bugs now. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay, let's drop, for example... Um, I don't know. Let's drop some food, maybe. Uh, I can drop this. So I can get the... What? I just dropped one. How can I drop more? Ah, drop a stack. Okay, easy. And now we can talk with Marcin and receive this weapon. Oh, so the beginner's flint lock pistol, it's like even a better weapon than before. So we need to keep killing uh, bandits. So let's go there. Kill Martis Gulkador. So it looks like a boss. So is this better than the one that we already have? 40, 100, uh -uh. no, it's not better. So I, I already crafted a great weapon, a great pistol. So let's drop it. I don't know if anyone else maybe will find it useful or I don't know if they can collect it. But let's go and try to kill... Uh... Ah, you didn't accept the quest. At the star, Martis Gulka. So I have no idea where is this boss, I guess. And I don't know what are the blue, yellow, green, olive, whatever. I don't know. So, oh, look at this. Look at this, guys. This blue area, this blue round area, maybe is the one where we need to go to kill this boss. So let's try to do it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Don't... Oh, uh, okay, so Sebron, Sebron, 39, and he already crafted, you want armor? Oh, sure. Okay, uh, oh, let's follow Sebron and see where can we craft the armor. Oh, just here? 
Oh, by the way, Severn, are you also watching this stream? <laughs> because I was wondering how to get this. Ah, this is weapon. Weapon? So, no. Weapon, weapon, weapon. So, this is weapon. Maybe the armor is in another place? Oh, no, this is not for the armor. Hmm, no. Not able to craft anything here. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't have space. So let's let's equip it. Uh, let's keep it. Oh, you need to press enter all the time. Oh, yeah, anyway, let's take everything. Oh, I was rotating the camera. How I was doing this? Oh, with the... Oh, shit, this is so confusing, guys. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, like this, you can rotate the camera. So let's pick this. Equip. Wow. So this guy was crafting all of this, and he's just dropping to me. So nice. Oh, we finally have... One full armor! Okay, so... So nice, people! Oops! Oh, shit. If you, it will be nice that if you are chatting... I mean, if I'm chatting... Uh, it will be nice to have all the time the, the text chat... I, the, the, the Windows chat dialogue there all the time. Ah, you too? Yep. Uh, will be nice that if you are chatting, you're writing something there, you can all the time uh, chat and uh, keep all the time in this mode, so it's easier. I mean, right now, every time that you want to talk and say anything, you need to press enter. So, guys, something cool, I have to say, is that you can keep, for example, oh, we are so powerful thanks to this player, Severon. Thanks to him. We are so powerful now. So let's go, guys, with this epic music. Probably here in the stream only. When Once I'm editing the videos and uploading to my YouTube channel, the music won't be there. But now the music is so epic. And guys, we are so... Well, we are in the right place to kill the boss, right? Yeah. So let's go and... Whoa, is this guy, Martis. Ah! We didn't kill it. We didn't kill it. So, okay, let's wait until he responds. But I remember that they share in this core some designs about this boss, I guess. They already share something about him. So that's so, so nice. So let's wait until he responds. Ow! Just here. So let's use the third... Ow! Oh, look at this. Just one single shot with the third skill. Skill number three, and the boss was done. So, guys, let's come back because I guess that we finished the quest. Mm, not yet. I'm not sure. Let's try to kill some more enemies. Or maybe I can try to repeat because probably the ones, the bandits that I need to kill. Boom! Do, 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 do. Oh, again, the musketers. And I'm not sure if how are these guys. So let me check the map. I don't know if I finished the quest. Oh, level 15. Wow. <laughs> level 10 of pistols. So, guys, that's so exciting. But level 50, it means that has been joining the queue the two days all the time so marcin 
I don't remember where do I need to go. So let's zoom out. Oh, maybe maybe it's here in the capital. So the problem is that I don't know how to respawn, and they, this is basic to save some time to go from one place to another one. But anyway. Well, the good thing about this is that we can see the rest of the map. And again, thanks to Severan, we got great armor. So let's use now number three. Oh. And number one, just to sprint. And number four, another target. And he fail. Oh. Boom. There we go. Special skill. So now let's keep moving to the capital. Oh, this is new. I mean, this is similar to the pre-alpha, but they added so many assets here in the map. It looks fantastic. So uh, let me see. Oh, we can try to go to this uh, quest here. I mean, we need to talk with an NPC and deliver the quest. Oh, look at this. There we go. So, um, it goes around this place. Yeah, let's go. Oh, one shot and he killed this Clawbot. Cool. So, ah, this was the arena. This was the arena? Let me see. Enter battle arena, but I'm alone this time. So, yeah, there are... Oh, so this means that there are more than one battle arena in Solar Wood. There is one close to the uh, capital, and here there is another one um, in the grasslands. I guess it's the name of this place, of this region, I mean. So let's take this quest. Oh, here you can see so many players. I don't know what it, what is happening here. And another one. Boom. Oh no, maybe... Ah, no, these green icons, they are uh, vegetables, for example, that you can gather. So that's it. Okay, so here you, we can talk with... Who is this? Kylie. Deliver a black truffle. So probably we'll need to level up our gathering skill in order to collect this item. So I'm not interested. And yeah, definitively, this place was... Uh, in the pre-alpha as well it was very different from now but yeah it was there wow i was using the skill number two to target the the boar and then later uh just a simple attack here guys oh i love when he's spinning in the air that looks so oh look at this ah, the problem is that we cannot jump over the wall of the the city oh but we can jump like this oh double jump it was a double jump <laughs> nice and now what can we do here so okay so we can go and talk with brushy yeah we can talk with brushy and deliver maybe that last quest that we were trying to complete about killing the the boss and and four bandits more i'm in the right way rushy and yeah boom guys we did it uh, so let me just drop this maybe i can drop yeah one king slave i can drop i oh, know you need to select drop okay and also let's drop the stack of this so we're going to collect this pistol we complete this and i don't know why ah, okay for some reason the quest didn't disappear it was still there but i have to say that yeah my pistol the one that i already crafted it's the same one like this so let's drop this weapon so maybe it's useful for someone else Let's just drop it. Boom. And maybe someone finds this useful. 
And what else? So we complete one quest line and it was about killing the bandits. Probably will be the probably the bandits threat quest. Quest line. So we already complete one quest line at least. That's great guys. So let's see what else can we do in the meantime. Hmm. This one, it's the same, it's the PvP quest. So ah okay. So this is the battle arena. This icon, this orange and green shield, it's the battle arena. Okay, I had no idea what this. I mean, when you enter the arena, you see this icon, but for some reason, I didn't re realize about this. Anyway, uh, yeah, there are so many arenas, and each arena has this question mark because you can complete the quest there. And same here. So guys. We can complete one quest here and we can accept this one. Let's go here to the north and try to accept this quest. Let's do it. Just to visit a different region, a different area, will be very, very interesting. So let's see if we can do this and visit a different region. And okay, this is not the way. This is not the way. But yeah, I'm so thankful that. Uh, Severin was sharing with us the, the, the armor, the equipment. But I will also like to find the, the place where we can craft this. Just for fun and see how how the armor works. Oh, we are not able to go through this way. Okay. This is what happened in the pre-alpha when you wanted to go to the mountains. So we need to go through this way. I guess through this way. Wow. It will be a long way, guys. Seriously. So, guys, what I'm going to do later today is now I will stop playing. I will go to dinner. And then I will be back playing in Spanish. And what I'm going to do to do something different, it's go to the mountains. Go to the mountains. And because there is one quest there. Yeah, there is one quest in the mountains, and I'm very curious about see how this region looks like. And I will be playing later the mountains, but in Spanish. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, someone died there. Oh, the map now is a little broken. Okay, cool. So yeah, if you want to see something from the mountains, you can watch my stream, but obviously I will be speaking in Spanish and maybe... If you don't know Spanish, you cannot follow what I'm saying. But anyway, if it's just about watching what I'm playing, you should be good to go. So another arena. Let's see if there is anyone inside. Again, the... Oh, there is one player there. Ah. Oh, look at this. Oh, he was using a potion. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness oh finally i was able to kill someone in the battle arena so nice oh he's again oh look at this oh maybe he wants me to oh with number three i was able to kill him one time Wow, I mean, I'm not healing myself. Oh, this ah, this is a passive skill maybe to get some defense. Ah, I failed this one. I failed this one, guys. There we go. Boom! Number three is enough to kill a player with just one single shot. And maybe he had enough. Obviously, we are similar levels. I'm number uh, level 20. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's a magician. And I don't have enough. Oh. 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 It's a magician. Yeah. I really like... Oh, come on. What the hell? Fucking coward. You were going to die. Simply die and... Give me the, the point for the quest. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my goodness. These cowards. Seriously. 
Anyway, let's kill him. I, I'm not able to kill him outside from the battle arena. Oh, come on. Anyway, no one else? Uh, I didn't complete the quest for the battle arena. So sad. But at least we try it. At least we try it. We saw how this works. I mean, we... Oh, look at... Ah, we complete the quest. We complete the quest. Let's see. Max? Kill players 10 of 10. So, uh, I don't know why I complete this quest. Honestly, I don't know. But I mean... Because I didn't kill 10 players. That's weird. Maybe it's counting in a wrong way. And if an enemy kills a player, it's counting for me as well. I don't know. But anyway, um, let me see. I'm going to... Okay, this defeat 50 players in the PvP arena. Okay, this is not going to happen. Okay, I'm going to accept. But this is not going to happen. Yeah, let's go to the, to the north. Maybe this player is waiting for me. Okay, maybe I can give him some points or no now let's go let's go to the north let's not waste our time i mean we saw how the pvp arena works i mean the also the quest how to complete it but let's accept this quest town oh here you can craft some food maybe cooking plot let's see guys carrots okay i can craft this let's see if i i don't have enough space so, um, I can drop not this. So, yeah, I could I could try to drop. What about this? I'm wasting so much time. 2064. Okay, I can drop this. I can. Oh, no. No, no. I can. I can drop it. I'm going to drop this and also drop this. Great. Now I can craft this. And probably I will get some health packs health by 50 oh 1800 seconds so okay i can get a buff thanks to this let's i'm going to use it okay let's remove this screen and let's use it use um oh here you can see an icon uh, above from the health bar and you can see the icon with the remaining time so probably i will be kick from the server before the cooldown it's finished so let's craft another one just for later when i'm playing in spanish so i can show this to everyone Cry, right 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 i mean right so let's accept that quest oh we are in the city but we need to go at the north oh armor oh this is the way this is the place to craft armor so tier two so great oh the armor that i have what level it is it's reinforced braids oh he already gave me the better tier two armors oh that's amazing so something oh that's that's so great so yeah so he was so 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 generous giving me tier 2 great items so you can see that there are more uh, we're able here to to use but anyway at least we were able to see how to craft armors and we already saw how they look like so let's go outside from the city i don't know where okay here you can we can leave the city by this way oh boom no I'm always reacting in the same way when the alpha playtest ends. I'm always like, no! <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, the third run for my playtest for this alpha of Ember Sword ended. And also, guys, I'm going to finish the stream now. Yeah, I'm going to dinner because if I want to play in Spanish at least one time, I should do this. Yeah, he's from... I know, he's from before. Hilary was talking before, not now. Okay. So, uh, again, here we have the survey. I will take my time to answer this. But, guys, um, let us let me jump into the just chatting scene. Boom. 
So there we go. Uh, yeah, that was all by now. I mean, I will be back later to play in Spanish. So if you want to me, uh, if you want to me, if you want to watch me again uh, playing Embassy later in Spanish, or maybe another day whenever they release a new alpha test or maybe the beta play test i don't know whatever they release for embassy or any other game like big time the sandbox auto ring and so on uh please follow me and enable the notifications i guess they are enabled by default but just follow me and you will receive the notification when i go online so otherwise as i said i'm going to dinner right now i will be eating something because i'm starting to start in a little and i will be playing later i will be playing later in spanish i will try to play at least two times i will complete well i will start the quest that we were close to get now i will start this quest and i will try to play one a second time and go to the mountains because i'm so so curious about how the mountains look like and how is this region so have a great dinner thank you so much hillary hope that you have enjoyed so much the the gameplay much love thank you for staying here with us thank you so much thank you so much to everyone as well and guys if you ever have uh a request whatever you want me to to show you from the game i mean if for any reason you want me to i don't know attack enemies all the time because you want to see something specific just share it in the chat if you have a question about how the crafting of armors work and you're interested in this share it in the chat because i'm always reading it yeah i mean if maybe in other games it's difficult but now in ember sword for example and also in big time I'm reading the chat also in sandbox. I'm always reading the chat, so always feel free to share whatever you need, whatever you want me to do. Obviously, if I can do it, if I can do it. And if that's the case, just ask it. And hey, Joseph, hey Joseph just go here, go there and show me how this works. So this is all by now. As I said, I'm going to dinner and I will be back later to play in Spanish. So hope to see you later or tomorrow or the next stream that i'm doing because i need to play the sandbox and um i'm not going to play tomorrow most probably but i should be playing the sandbox the new experience or new experiences because i don't know if they release something today but at least there is one more experience i will playing this one past tomorrow yeah two days later because tomorrow i need to edit the videos uh with the gameplay review of msor and upload it to my youtube channel that will be tomorrow. For today, let's play later in a Spanish MS4 and have fun. So thank you so much, everyone. Hope to see you to I later, later, I mean, or tomorrow or whenever it is. See you. Bye bye. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to tap on the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell to stay tuned for more videos. See you next time!